You got Jack on that, that, that means he does it's respect it's Jack on you. Yeah. yeah. I know. He said, but if it didn't have Jack on it, he would that, made, that reminded me of that, that juvenile song. Is this tracking right now? Yeah. Okay, oh. You're doing great. Age check. How old is everybody? 46. I was born on a day. What Solid. answers did you expect? Um, real ones. <laughs> 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 fucking real ones. And I, and I didn't get that. What's nah, a real answer? Nah. Y'all gonna have I'm to find my birth Nah, you're gonna have Those to find my birth Those are all real person. ages. What the fuck? That's not an age. It's a day. I could take that. I could take born 46. on a day would you you would have no, to No, being born you piece on a it day together is, implies is, an age exists. Exactly. Age. Exactly. I forgot the word, but exactly. <laughs> and you didn't you didn't say any specific details about the age. An implied age still counts as an age. I feel like any way I ask the question though, no one's gonna answer it in the desired fashion. That's a terrible question. So I think I'm just gonna let it go. Yeah. Well, why is that a terrible question? It's a very terrible question. It's a very like I'm uh, old. Especially like on an episode <laughs> about time and legacy, we're talking about an emotion right now, bro. Like, why are we talking about age? Actually, well, wait, time and legacy. We're talking about an emotion. Yeah, time and time is an emotion. Interesting. Yeah. So. Wow. That's why I feel like what do you, age, what do you, when we start talking about age, there's not very much relevancy. There. What, do you, what do you mean that time is an emotion? Um, like Elaborate, please. Wait, hold on. Because I love this. Right. Are you going to like bring us in? Are you going to like bring in the AO people? Welcome to we're going to be talking about No. I got and no. just checking. Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to get too far into it. You, know, you, right, you can do that yourself if you want. Uh, what's the name of the shit? No. Does it have a name? No. It does, hey, y'all, it does welcome have a to know. It's called Microdose, bro? It does have a name. Microdose. No. It's not called Microdose. No. I'm just Microdose. Yeah. Okay. I can't tell you the name or I'd have to kill you. Welcome to I Can't Tell You the Name or That's I'd have to kill you. That's not the name of the show. That's very not the fire. name of the show. All, of that, very all of that is guests. the name of the show. Pyro show. We got very special guests in this motherfucker. Can I cuss? <laughs> we got very special guests <laughs> in this motherfucker. We my my dog, Leno. I'm hey, so I've been offended. calling him Leneo forever. That's he not has, his fucking you're, name. You're terrible you're for that. Leno in this bitch. All right. And he was, and he was bitch. convinced. I'm too, calling you like, Kimberly the whole day. That's it. Big Pond. The motherfucking Wookiee. I, I enjoy That's this. How I feel. That's how I feel. I'm, I'm enjoying this. So I'm now that we're all introduced, I'm gonna call you the show V's alter ego. You didn't introduce anybody. Since you I disrespect I, everyone, introduce yourselves. Bro. No, no. I want everyone to know who they fucking with today. No people. You're Kimberly <laughs> number two. That's who you are today. We are the Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. And Dude, I have always blossom. been Buttercup. Okay. Okay. Is there a fucking problem? <laughs> 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 No, nah, I'm not about to fight with you over which Powerpuff girl I want to be. That's I already got dibs on Blossom, so you, yeah, all that's left is Bubbles. But you're, but you're obviously Blossom. Bubbles. You're obviously Bubbles. All right, bro. Look at, look at, bro, look at, bro, disposition right now. <laughs> look at the disposition. You going to tell me this is our buttercup? This is our fearless leader? No. Uh, bro, I quit. God I damn it. Buttercup wasn't the leader. No, but Buttercup was the muscle. Buttercup was mean. Yes. Yeah. Which one of okay? Which one of us is me? You mean. still got a V six. <laughs> You're mean. Talk about muscle. You you committed to being mean. You still got a V six. This nigga talking about muscle. I just wanted to make sure everybody heard what you said. Yeah. And now that they've heard, they can judge for themselves. They heard you repeat what he said. They they could have heard. They also what, saw. They could have heard exactly. They could rewind. <laughs> They can pause this shit. Exactly. Shit. Why you gotta why you gotta recopy people's words? Listen. Recopy. None of this has anything to do with time and legacy. And I don't know why y'all got us all side. Everything's like related this. to time. I was, I was about to drop gems and then you just like started talking about an intro that doesn't exist. It does exist. Started just talking happened. about ages and shit. All that. It was a genuine question. Okay. That was answered with the utmost lack of genuity. It was answered with an answer. Yeah, and it was you, just. I just answer. want to it say, at the an same answer. time, you've still yet to tell anyone how old you are. Exactly. Oh, Twenty-seven. Uh, Look at that. A regular one. A regular uh, answer, how can though? we be sure? You can't. Exactly. You was asking something though. We kind of sidetracked. <laughs> Got all no, the way sidetracked. My, kind of, my my like my overall like question was just like like I don't know. I feel like. <clears throat> 
aside the, from the fact that like there's like time stamps like you don't get your prefrontal cortex until you're 25 and like certain shit like that like and those are all just like estimates on age like but I don't see like once you get into adulthood what the point of age is and then like birthdays and like keeping track of all of that shit like especially since we're talking about time like it's like I don't know I, I feel you. I I kind of like like from that perspective. I kind of think like developmental stages are more important than the age because uh, it's like you're you're this for this chunk of time. Then you're this, and then you're an adult, and it's kind of like all right, whatever. After you're an adult, but uh, I feel you on that. I get you what you mean. Me? I feel like age could be a fun milestone. You know, I, I think it could be that and stop there. But because there are so many connotations put on age or the lack thereof, it's not even allowed to do that anymore. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Birthdays could be cool because you've been in this bitch a little longer. You know what I'm saying? And we celebrate. If you just if you just look at it there and leave it there, then it's always a cool thing. Right. But yeah. once you start piling in the where like, you should be, the societal... Etc. Bullshit. And then that's when it's like, well, is this really a good thing? It's, it's hard to escape all a that. Thing that matters. No, right. it's like impossible. Yeah, because like you, you, like getting getting older is definitely a like, like all right, cool, you survived. Like that. That's that's an accomplishment. Which should be enough of a reason. To yeah, fucking that's celebrate. that. That's 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 fine. I, I understand. Like the you know you made it around again. It's it's another. It's it's a birthday for that. That's a celebration. But is there relevancy? That's up to you. Yeah, that's I guess that's more so what I'm questioning. Um, define relevancy. Like, I feel like astrophysics is extremely relevant, especially like in our community, like because of the lack thereof. Like, is mm. people celebrating birthdays that relevant? You know, like. And I mean, the, I think the overall tracking of birthdays and just like the, I don't know. My like, bad. Can you? I know, I know those two things are, like, far left. They have nothing no, to do no, no, with no. Other, but like, um, it's just but an example. I want to retouch on the de- your definition of relevancy. Like, all right, so, like, uh, dire need of attention. Because you only got so much time you can spend on things. Like, is that worth spending time on? Um, I don't know. That's kind of where I'm at with that one. Like, as far as relevancy, it's, like, it's worth spending time on it's like I don't know. like something valuable like that not not valuable but like there's there's value in you devoting your time to it instead of yeah you know like I guess I probably used the wrong word maybe that was a better word but yeah that's what I mean and you're asking like is there yeah like I mean value is there true value in like because we started this conversation right we started this conversation. That's kind of how we started it, and it's just like, hmm. The return. What's the point? <laughs> you know, like on some like, like yeah, like maybe small talk, like maybe like icebreaker shit, start the conversation. But like, that's a thing in our culture. Like, age is important. Like, why? You know? It's because we've we've made it really like we made it important, and then we we like because if you think about it, it's only important uh, for other people, like it, at least a event or like a doing a a thing and like having a a, a a party or something for for a birthday. That that's like that's for show for other people. I feel like, like because you 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 know you keep you you buy that you you know we're 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 taught in society that like all right you're supposed to get gifts it's somebody's birthday the day's supposed to be about you it's your birthday type type shit and there's all these different narratives that like people could sell different stuff on like i might i might get lost i'm gonna try this that's fine right. let's go i might get lost but try to stay with me so i feel you like come in. this conversation is a perfect example of what i was saying about how Age could just be a cool thing, but the things attached to it are what make it. Mm. Check me. Yeah. All I asked was, how old is everybody? Mm-hmm. And that immediately shot to, 
is that relevant? Is that important? Is that worth spending time on? All the niggas said was, how old is niggas? You know what I'm saying? Like, it could just be a cool thing. It could just be a, 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 the celebration of a milestone. But once we start um, examining, like, how we should and shouldn't be spending our time, we got to start questioning the relevancy of how long we've been marking our existence. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah. The shit, the shit just transforms. And the amount of time that goes into it, I don't know, bro. Like, like, which is what I'm saying. I'm not to cut you off, but that, I meant to. I meant to touch on that because, yeah, with the amount of time that we spend on it, right? Like this. This conversation being the example we give. I asked, "How old are y'all?" If he went thirty and you went whatever your age is, that would have been the end of it. But once we started talking about the That's relevancy boring, of time, uh, the relevancy of age, now we spent way more time on it. Than we were just like twenty-seven. <laughs> No, because we're talking about time right now, bro. So and, and that's why I that's why I felt the need to be like, nah, 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 nah. Why? You get me? Yeah. Because like, I feel like there's certain things. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, facts. I don't, I think, I think as far as like why, um, I feel like it's always like the somebody being somewhere, somebody being here, being conscious, being just like cognitive existence and, and the celebration of that has always been a thing just because it's like it's cool um but i think when it became such a big fucking deal was when it started getting equated to value um we started equating age to wisdom those who were supposed to have wisdom started uh using that to put down people who didn't have that yeah gatekeeper you know I kind of feel like that might be the thing that made it a big enough deal to talk about like whether or not it's relevant but I think just doing it is cool I think just getting older is cool just being alive is cool and you can celebrate the ability to do that you know <laughs> hey, I love it here. Hey. And and in all honesty, like where where I come from, like you know, you were saying you were from Florida. Like yeah. all my family's from Louisiana. A death is is also a, a celebration. Yeah, yeah you know. Yeah. So uh, like, the right? It, it, exactly. What? That you you never you never that. heard of that? <laughs> well, like, do you, do you know anything about like that that process? I I I feel like. For me, I have my own idea of what, like, a funeral should be like. Mm -hmm. And I've studied other cultures, like, and I've seen that, like, you know, there's all types of different ways of looking at it. Yeah. It's like a, it's like on the way, it's like on the way to, like, the service, like, or the initial bearing is when, like, the slower music is played. You know what I'm saying? That's when, like, everybody is, like, the same parade. But niggas is chilling. Mm -hmm. Then after they bury that motherfucker, niggas go wild. Like, the music is shit bumping. Like, it's Yeah, just, just look into it. It's, it's a celebration. It's a beautiful thing. Hey, that's crazy. That's the opposite of how I think a funeral should be. Uh-huh. But who am I? You know? You're you. But, like, right. I feel like, on my, like, for my funeral, I want people to talk about, like, all the bad shit that I did. Like, that one time I didn't respond to your text message, like, and it was really important or like you know like just all the little fuck ups like like don't throw a fucking party bro like talk about the bullshit that I did and then try to go do better you guys will do it I you get you on that that's interesting why it's just I think that's I, bro I look at a lot of shit as what's best for our people bro like and like I think a lot about connectedness and contribution to evolution so, like, a lot of the things that I think about and, like, why they should be a certain way stems through those filters. Like, 
I feel you. Have you ever thought about your own funeral before this? Um, I feel like I think about, like, how people are going to view me when I die, but not necessarily the event of the funeral much. I feel you. Uh, I was at a funeral because one of my friends died uh, in November, and both me and my sister, it was crazy, because both me and my sister had the same thought. We was watching it, and both of us, like, leaned over to my mom at the same time and was like, um, I, I wanted to like plan my own funeral, hmm. <laughs> and it, it was crazy that we both said the same thing because it, it was just like I don't want people doing shit I won't like. Yeah, you know, like it it got to be exactly. I don't want you singing no shit that I don't want you singing. <laughs> I don't want y'all wearing nothing. Right, I don't want y'all wearing nothing that I wouldn't want y'all wearing. Like oh. it it need to be coordinated. It need to be coordinated, or somebody got to bring me back to life. Niggas don't. Go I can't go out if, if y'all shorts don't. With the matching jack shirt, it's a problem. You, know you can hop in this casket with me because you're doing it wrong. No, <laughs> I'll never forget. I'll never, ever, ever, ever. Make the Lord smite y'all if y'all don't get my shit right. <laughs> I had a cousin. I have a cousin, uh, Bobby. He passed. I can't. I can't even really remember. I had to be. My hair was like almost long at the time, so it's happened. At least sophomore year of high school. Mm. Whatever. I pull up. It's in my grandma, uh, my great grandma's hometown, which they their side of the family like stayed there, so it was like hot. Mm. Like the Edwards, the Edwards family is like the fucking family of this. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like small country town. It's in Florida. Y'all know that. Yeah. <laughs> um, we go to the church. Uh, it's my great grandma's church, which we go there every family reunion anyway. Still. Yeah, so it, it's hot, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the funeral service is like, it's like a regular service. The service is happening. Um, Cousin Bobby, he's like he's like a real funny dude, though. He was like the funniest nigga in the family. Mm -hmm. um, regular service goes by, you know. It's weird because the connection we had to Bobby is like, causes us to get into a happy mood. Even in this like low times, get to the end, and the pastor who's giving like the sermon, mm -hmm. he puts on a pair of sunglasses, and we're like, "Yo, <laughs> yo, what the fuck is going on?" <laughs> Funk music start playing. That's hard. And smoke machines start going off. In the that's church. crazy. Oh, if smiling. you wouldn't expect in that, that's probably and like I'm wow. a ball bear. I didn't know this was happening. <laughs> I'm they didn't carry. even tell y'all. And so we pick it up and we two step <laughs> into the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that's tight. That that made me go like that made me get on that same thought. Like, yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all exactly how to do right. this. I'm gonna tell you exactly how to send my physical body out. There. Right. I mean, people people be writing wheels. Just yeah. Bro, but it was the fog machine and the fun. You know, and he wrote that in. Like that was that's what he wanted to happen at his funeral. That's hard. Insane. That's hard. Incredible. And for them, like, still, like, committing and, and like, yeah. keeping keeping what he wanted. That's tight. And I think that, to kind of touch on the legacy aspect, um, that the people being willing to do that mm -hmm. and go there and put ourselves in that space during his funeral, at his request, is a tribute to who he was while he was here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if a nigga's a fucking asshole... If, if you don't like this nigga, he might get a fucking spike funeral. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we gonna do this because we gotta do it. But I've been to those. But if you really loved and cared about this individual and they left behind a legacy yeah. of that and of that feeling in people, yeah. Yeah, we gonna put on these sunglasses and turn the smoke machine on in the middle of God's house and march out wearing white gloves. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right. See, legacy is just as important. While we while we on the topic of death, um, um, rest in peace, Swerve. Fine. Word. Rest in peace, Cloud. Fine. Um, y'all don't know my dad. Rest in peace, my dad. Bow. Uh, any anybody else? Any? I'm, I'm asking y'all. Uh, <laughs> I'm through my alive. list. <laughs> Not personally. Um, I haven't. Uh, you know. For sure. Not recent, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, recent, yeah, saying. yeah. I get you. It's it's spirits. The spirits live on in me. Yeah, I get that. I get that. 
my aunt by my grandpa, my cousin Bobby, who I was just talking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. They they live on. Rested in people, man. Right. So on a slightly on a slightly different note, on a slight pivot, um, how do y'all um like how do you think your family or people in your family like see you as a musician? Like what's that experience like? Um oh, that's that's a cool question. I'm actually very interested to hear everybody else answer. Duh. I'm going to get mine. But I'm like so interested. Hey, I'm gonna answer but like know. let me see what snacks they bring. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the fucking mics like pick up this sound. Just hold, just like put it, put the bag right in front of you. I can't even show you. Dog, product placement, bro. Just like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've been good. Bro. This is brought to you by Monster. This is my man's, bro. My man's brought me into Monster, right? Terrifying. Hey, monster. In, in high school, um, the monster in high school, we used to run, run in the Kroger. Uh, there's no Kroger's out here. Uh, no? But we, uh, there's Ralph's. Oh, but Ralph sells Kroger shit. Yeah, but in Georgia is Kroger, uh, and we had this this one friend that that like loved monsters. Yeah. So we we would always just like we called it gleeping. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like stealing shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I, I feel you. <laughs> I, I, I know, like the the phrase gleek means something else. I don't know what that is. Do, doesn't matter. Uh, it's not familiar though. Do, doesn't matter. We used to I get a lot of secondhand Georgia language. So for sure, but. Um, yeah, like like so we we would pull up right out front, and I would always be the driver because I was too scared <laughs> to like actually take shit. Um, and you know, like when they be having the sodas and 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 energy drinks like outside, the yeah, store, like with the 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 stand, like they set up the display and shit. Yeah, just pull up there, take a whole bunch, throw them in the trunk, and leave. Oh, y'all was wild. <laughs> we was that was that was the plan. See, we called that juggy. Also, also fits. I've heard that word. It kind of came back recently. Yeah, like I hear people out here. The slang, the slang going in a circle. Yeah. Everybody trying to pretend that they from the south. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not jugs. Stick, st- stick to stick to y'all lingo. Y'all stick lingo to stealing. Cool. <laughs> stealing. <laughs> stick to stealing. This is this is also un, unrelated to that. Have y'all ever heard this album called "Steal This Album" by uh, fucking System of a Down? I really haven't. No, nope. like yeah. the way like Kanye got a lot of like like people were acting like he was the first to do like the blank CD with the mm. the shit. But for that album, it was no cover art. It was just the CD blank case written in Sharpie, and and then that was it. Yeah, I had seen that before, uh, Yeezus. The blank CD game. Yeah. I seen that shit before. Yeah, people be trying to give man's credit for and stuff. I love when... bro, but like, I feel like he does that a lot. Like, he kind of, like, yeah. And I, I feel, because I do it too. And I, yeah. And I feel like the thing is, though, like, when a certain person does something, it really stamps it in culture. And like, you got to to those, yeah. to those people yeah. that have that kind of, like, where... You do something and it's yours now. Like it's not. They're just doing something. You know? Though, I do want to say that's not that nigga fault. Yeah. Kanye didn't yeah. Tell it's, y'all. it's it's yeah, not. Exactly. It's, it's, it's exactly. other. It's exactly. other people. Kanye, that make Kanye it didn't that. say I did this first. Right. Niggas exactly. just hadn't seen it before he exactly. did. It. Yeah. Exactly. It's other people that that make it that because like realistically we all get the references right like. If you an actual creative person, you gonna know these references. And Fire. like the the shit that that people be referencing, it's not too far removed from normal culture. Yeah. yeah but bro. you know, people be acting like I ain't never heard of that. I ain't ne-. like people just now discovering Young Lean, which is crazy. Just now. On TikTok. Granted, I've still never heard a song. But uh, but like people on TikTok just now discovering them, and it's like this is years it just past. Just blew me away because you started off with this the song whole. And then you're like, you're just like I never heard a song. <laughs> 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 no, because but here's the thing: it's crazy. Um, I actually look up to Young Lean. Okay. Mm. I really do. He's I don't know anything about him. I know nothing about this guy. Explain. But I 100 percent love uh, the way that he's presented himself and put himself in position to be seen how he's seen. And I've always wanted that for myself. I feel that. Always wanted that. That that yeah. whole that whole like witnessing the whole Sad Boys movement uh, that like with with them that that shit was wild like it was like full-on internet culture being like 
starting to appear into normal really quick, culture. Really quick before we get too far, because I was going to say something. Before, For sure. Uh, okay, we was talking about the, the Kanye shit. Yeah. Uh, fucking, um, damn it. Uh, oh, ref, oh, we were talking about how, okay. And then another thing too is, bro, like, everybody does that. Like, all we are is listening. Like, you are what you eat. And you right. can't make shit unless you see shit and you listen to it. And there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like people got this connotation where it's like it's a bad thing when you do this. And it's like, no, you you cannot not do this. Yeah. You're not that original. Like, right. Ain't nothing new. Yeah, exactly. Like, we, we still, if 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 a man came up with it first, it's because they stole it from nature. That's how I feel. You feel me? And so, that's all I got to say about that. Just because you discover something don't mean that you created it. You know, like, you could, you could stumble into a lot of shit. Like, throughout history, we've stumbled into a whole bunch of shit. Doesn't mean that, like, that you can't write out that it, it that the, you know, the knowledge of, of the thing existing or the thing being a thing. I want to let y'all know. Wasn't. I have been building a case against what y'all are saying. You're always building <laughs> cases. For, for years. No, before, way, far before the inception of this conversation. I have been building a case against that. I do not have it ready yet. Okay. But, I promise, <laughs> but I promise every oh, I'm time. A, I'm going to say something. Every time. Every time, every I, time I end up around this conversation, I want everybody to know I'm on y'all ass. I know. <laughs> I know I can figure it out. So out of, out of nowhere, one day, you're just going to like, all right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> one I, day I will disprove the theory of the lack of human originality one day I'll fucking do it bro or I probably won't even I probably won't disprove it but I'll probably find a loophole cool enough yeah just just, just just find find me an example of it not being that no, just any that. how, how are you all, going if all we are is listening bro how you're asking me the wrong questions right now Come on, bro. <laughs> I, I just told you. I just told you. I don't have it ready. I know. But I'm letting you know. The fact, here's the thing, because I love this about myself. I can see when something is airtight, and I can feel when it isn't. And I feel that this it, isn't it ain't, it ain't ready. It's still so in the gotta oven. Get in there. It's airtight. Like, what, no, something's airtight. It's still in the oven. Y'all still ain't answering my actual the, question. The, the, the theory that nothing is airtight is not airtight. That's what I, that's I, what, I get that. I get that. that. But because it technically we get somewhere else, but because y'all still ain't answer my question, we will get there. Sure, <laughs> because, we'll see. Because because we've accepted the fact that nothing is airtight as fact, that makes it airtight. Yeah. Therefore, nothing is airtight. But then you that's can't. You can't. Said, you can't though. trust but shit. You can't though. say nothing is airtight then. Because something is airtight. What's airtight? The fact that nothing is airtight. You, you, know, you know what's airtight? Y'all answering my damn question. What is your Answer question? my damn question. <laughs> right. how, how, how did your family feel? Exactly. Music? Oh, Jesus right, Christ. Can't, can't. Wow, how did we get away from that? That's one? what I'm saying. <laughs> I went to go get snacks and it was Oh, that's yeah, what it was. Yeah, yeah. Happened, we started talking about jigging. <laughs> hey, it happens. All right, look. So I'll go first. And I'm, I want to say, like, first and foremost, like, shout out to my mama. Mama, mama is mama. So cool. Very cool. Yeah, your mom is pretty cool. But um yeah, like I don't know, it's like immediate family, like it's very interesting. Like I would say my mom always kind of just like at first music was just like, Alright, you're not getting into trouble, cool. Like mm. do music, like that's cool. Mm. And then over time as time progressed, like I grew up and like the more I grew up, the more she was like Oh, like you actually like are doing music. Like, is that a violin in the beat? Like, oh, that's tight. Cool. Like, a, like she was asking questions about. That's hard. Like, she actually like. like I've never had that. Show yeah, like she got to the point where she would like. It's not like she's interested, but she she recognizes me as an artist. Like, that's cool. She, when she looks at me, she doesn't see like her son. Or she mm. knows and respects the fact that I'm an artist. And yeah. Get that's a that's a real important. I've I've had that with my mom too. That I haven't had that with the rest of my. Actually, I have, but it's over some stupid shit. Uh, like, but yeah, I've I've had that. I've had that with my mom. I'll talk about the other shit after it's not after you not. I feel talking. like my my sisters like they get in there, but they still can't really wrap their like 
Yeah. Like, I don't know how to, like, my older sister, she respects it, and, like, she comes to my show, she supports, she helps mm-hmm. do the shoots and shit, but it's, like, I don't, I don't know, like, it's really levels to it, and, like, to really, like, see where I'm at and what I'm on and how I feel about it, like, I feel like my mom, like, she sees it, she gets it, like, Everybody else um, is kind of like on some like I don't think they really get. You're you know? talking about outside the yeah, immediate. Like, like, I mean, just like family in general, like yeah. outside of outside, like you know, my mom, like my mom gets it, and then my sisters are trying to get it, and then like <clears throat> my girl is like hella super supportive. That's actually I was I was about to smoke it. Because my girl is super supportive and like she recognizes me as an artist and mm. I consider her family. So uh, mm. I need to um, include her in that conversation. But um, everybody else doesn't really get it, though, like, to be honest. Like, they respect it and, like, some people, like, they like things and they like what I'm doing. But, like, on the level that, like, bro, like, you, like, bro, like, you really get the sound like you like sound too mm. you get me like yeah so when we're like talking we're having conversations it's like it's like that like my mom doesn't like sound but she sees the look in my eyes and mm. that's enough for her to be yeah. like, and feel it you get me like mm. i don't think that's the same like across everybody else like i feel you. Like, you genuinely love what i love enough to understand it or you love me to the point right where you understand and it. you just want to see me do something i love you get you know? right mm. so but Everybody's hella supportive. I will say that. Like niggas supportive, but it's not the same thing as understanding. And like, exactly. I don't know why. Like, I like draw a line between those two. things. I mean, they're different. But they're yeah, very different. You know, like it's it's it's. I think that's kind of where I'm at with the fam and like how I feel about that. But it, it's definitely support. Like I will like give everybody that. Like regardless of if they rocking with me or they get what I'm doing this song or what I'm doing right now, like. They support. Like, right. They fuck with me, so. That's tight. That. What about you? Yeah. Huh? What's good? I thought we were going next. That's why I went to. <laughs> no, fuck your, <laughs> fuck your drink. Especially if it's watermelon. Yeah, it's bro. watermelon. No, 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 no. But what was you going to say? Because you was already about to say something. Yeah, you was like, after you done talking, I'm a. Yeah, come on. I'm hearing you. Um, I, w- I was going to kind of. It's like a. It's about the same shit, but it's kind of like a side tangent. Um. So, essentially, I, I lost what the fuck I was talking about. But I'm going I'm to get back there from this other shit. Um, so, with my family, um, my mom has always believed in me. Uh, like, from jump. And, and so is my dad. Like, my dad bought me a guitar and, like, bought me, like, this karaoke machine and, and shit like that. Bye. Like, always, like, promoted me doing shit. Um, but outside of that, my family didn't care at all until like and and this was after i i like did the the our future shit after i didn't then went on tour and shit like that none of they they oh you still doing that music shit <laughs> you you still you still you still messing around with the with the music <laughs> and it and it don't matter though it's just like but then they didn't care until i did like a pop song like the the shit with Paige when I was in 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 the Jeep. That's what I'm Then, then they was like, then they was like, oh shit! Like you on now, you on now. Now you a real musician because like it's it's a catchy song that that's not weird because they look at everything that I do as weird. Bro didn't put know? the trippy video effects. Yeah, like like there's there's a lot of people in my in my family that like. They respect me, but it's still just to like, oh, you, you you just be smoking weed and, and pressing buttons, huh? Like, it's just, like, you, you know, like. I mean, yeah, like, you can simplify anything to that. I mean, <laughs> d- technically, but. Like, no. <laughs> but don't you do the same thing? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, be different buttons. Like, <laughs> you pressing the cashier button or some shit. Like, it's the same shit. Man. Hey, man. Their buttons are more important than Cause this is it's a it's a secure job. Dog, which is what I was about. To yeah, say. that that was that was where that's where I was going. My, was you done? My bad. I'm not trying to cut you off. I could be done. No, don't be done. I'm done now. Since you said God that. God damn it! I'll come back to it. You eventually. will come back to it. No, uh, maybe not. Continue. Support me. It's you, 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 you know what I'm saying? You'll never get on my bed, right? 
bro. Come what if on, you don't bro. like bands or wagons? All right, so here's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of the fucking. Um, I had I've had a, I have an interesting experience with my family's support of my music. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was kind of double pronged because from music, from the music standpoint, I've always had their support like I can say 100% like mom saw me doing it she was well, my, my mom was always go ahead boy she you know what I'm saying boy, like, boy. Go, go ahead uh, my dad same um, he was in a family band when he was a kid so oh, that's tight. yeah so, but like it was it was always interesting to me because um Namely, not with my mom because, like I said, she she's so go ahead. But with my dad and my Jeff older Harris. sister, um, I danced first. I danced before I did music, and I had a natural. Um, I had a natural inclination to music, but I did not have that same thing to dance. Mm. And mm-hmm. so, safe to say, I was trash. And it was so, <laughs> it was so interesting to see that, um, like my dad never mentioned I danced to my uncles. I used to I drum I uh, played the drum from sixth grade to like uh, junior year high school. But every and I started dancing in eighth grade. Okay. And like every time my dad would like see my uncles and shit, he'd bring up drumming. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Whether I didn't, I didn't really give a fuck about band like that, but like he always talked about drumming. And people never mention dance. People be looking at dance as like it's, it's some you gotta be scared of that. And dance was at the time, it. dance was way more my passion than music was. Like so it was weird. It was weird seeing that like crescendo into supporting my dance because they support it now. Um and then having it be like a, such a hard start for them supporting my music. And so I'm thinking like why did that happen? And like you said, it's how feasible the idea of something being a sustainable job a sustainable job is because with dance they didn't get it hell sometimes I don't get it dance has paid my bills for like five years and I still don't fucking understand five. how a nigga is supposed to yeah I don't I don't know nothing shit. about, you know about like, dance the territory is so new for somebody who does it somebody who doesn't do it can possibly understand the complexities of it especially when you're not that good but then nigga. um with music, it was like, oh, this nigga could put out a song and it be hot and he gets rich because of that. So it was so <laughs> much easier. It was so much easier to get on the music side mm-hmm. of things than the mm-hmm. dance side of things because it just made more sense to them. That was that was that was fairly insightful. <laughs> My bad, nigga. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't mean to incite you. Hey, hey, not, and it's, I feel like it's relevant towards time, and especially if we're talking about time and legacy. You know, because you really think about it, like the world we're living in right now, like a lot of the decisions that were made was made in a whole different time period. Like, right, like, mm-hmm. a lot of the shit mm-hmm. that is set up, like, wow, it's not yep. set up. Like, we didn't set it up. And so I think it's going to be interesting as fuck to see what our generation does. Exactly. And what it looks like 20, 30 years ago. Our, our children are going to experience the world that we and feel vision. like needs to exist, right? We're experiencing the world of the last generation. It's always a generation back. Bro, and my that, bro, that was literally my mom's shit. Is she felt like she couldn't do certain things that she wanted to do when she was growing up. Mm-hmm. And so that was all that she really cared about for me. It was just like, do what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Like, I just want you to be able like to do what you want to do. Right. It's just very rare. Like, and I see that like, like <clears throat> most of like my peers and their parents, like they didn't experience what she experienced. Right. Like, so it was easy for her to be like, no, I like just do what you want to do. Cause I never got to do that. And right. so like, I don't know, it really helped me, like, especially, like, in terms of building, like, a community, because, like, it's one thing to be in your own house, like, by yourself making music, but, like, my mom was really letting, like, the homies come over, I'm talking about, like, 10, 15 people eating, sleeping, 
like so it just like yeah open door policy type shit and that shit really created like the community and the environment like and like the tempo and just the relationships that i have even still to this day like that's so yeah cool. and that that was why i like when when i met your mom like my mom does like they're, they're similar in a lot of ways because she gave me that space too like our our basement because we had like a, a upstairs middle floor and then we had a basement whole basement was like mine um but that was just like people were there like whenever like i had a microphone i had a studio set up like just people just constantly down there like recording people not even telling me that they staying over it just end up staying over upstairs <laughs> it's like what Bullshit. but but yeah like that was the environment like my mom never had a problem um with you know like us creating it, it was always like a oh y'all down there making music then she go she gonna just stay upstairs you know mm-hmm. like you know but and to this day, I don't really know how she feels about any of it, like, or her opinions on it. I know she believes in me. Mm. I don't know how she feels about my music. Huh. We don't, we've never talked about that. And, oh, wow. okay, so that might be another thing, too, is, like, like you, I think there's people, like, where that's that same scenario. It's, like, they believe in me, but it's, like, music, bro, I don't know. Because you, you have to understand music. Yeah, get me to like to really believe in it. Like I feel like, cause I don't know how to explain it. Like, especially after you're out of a certain age, I think it's like fucking sixteen to twenty one is like the time period of music that psychologically impacts you the most. Like, right, it's your adolescence, and it's like after that, music don't really hit the same. You feel me? And so it's like. Really unless, unless it strike a chord, like it strike a nostalgia chord yeah, for you, uh, you know, then, then it could hit, because, you know. Um, I didn't listen to music like damn near at all during most of that time period. Music really didn't start hitting me until maybe like 24. What was the first song hmm. that, that like that that changed it for you? Do you remember that? Oh, uh, that switched me. Uh, there were There were some songs that hit real hard when I was like a youngin mm-hmm. um, and the power of those songs kind of surfed me up until the next song hit like um, Dance Dance by Fall Out Boy fucked me up and a combination of that and the Kingdom Hearts theme song fucked me up up until that was a good melody sophomore year of high school when Mad Mad Villain hit You think that you're gonna hear something later in your life that's gonna hit how those songs hit you in that Absolutely. time? Absolutely. Wow. I Absolutely. pray for that because something. That's some the shit, one thing I want. Some shit beat me in my face recently. Hmm. What? What the it fuck was it? What the I fuck? I don't know if I'm at liberty to talk about it. Uh, oh, but you know what? Because I'm in a space. I'm in a very interesting space right now. Um. I'm in an inspiration space. Mr. Interesting. Okay. (laughs) I'm actively allowing inspiration, which I typically don't do. Mm, I get that. um, Yeah. But I'm seeing seeing what it do this time. Okay. And uh, so it's been a couple of joints that have hit in disgusting ways where I'm like, oh, my fucking God. I'll give you one of them just so you know how weird this shit is right now. Um. Afraid of Love by Mario Judah. Okay. Afraid of Love by Mario Judah. Took me he out. he be hitting some pockets. Dog. It's just I I gotta I gotta accept that I want to like that. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> it is it, it's like a it's like a oh you took the song in the direction that like it's really tight that you did, but I don't really know if that should be done on a song. But yeah. it's tight. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's one of those, like, every He's time I listen to his music, character. it's like, that's hard, but I don't know if this needs to exist. Like, I'm, I'm, yeah. in, the, I'm in the middle of, like, but oh, this is wow. cool, but damn, this is kind of, uh, uh, it's confusing. Yeah, no. But then is. that's a good feeling, too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know? I'm, I'm, right now, I'm like, that's what I'm looking for. Like, that's what I'm 
loving about music is the risk. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I love the risk. I love this might not work. This shouldn't work. This doesn't table. I love that shit. If somebody can if somebody can put that in their shit, I will love it forever. Right. Okay. Good or bad, I'll at least respect it. Yeah, you trying shit. Okay. You know, you commit it. How the fuck did we get to that? Do you do no, you I was, cause cause I was talking about how like psychologically music doesn't hit like yeah. after you yeah. get outside of your adolescence and it's like we was talking about that because fuck. Oh man. And I had asked, uh, like, you was talking about the psychological part, and I was just asking what song did it. That was when he started yeah. talking about mm-hmm. that. And I was going to ask you that. Um, yeah, fuck. I lost it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it be happening. Yeah, I smoked the drink. It happens. You seen it. <laughs> <laughs> you was there. No, but I, I do... Um, I do believe I'm just only because and also because I want to make it you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. I can't afford I can't afford to believe that music ain't gonna hit me the same yeah cause I gotta yeah. hit me the same nah you know like like, like uh, I get what you're saying cause especially like over the last like six months I've been making music where I'm like I'm definitely my favorite artist of all time that's yeah. how I feel you like every me? artist should feel like that Facts. Like, that should be the reason that you're making music. You're filling a void in your brain that does not exist. Yeah. You know, like, you have to, It like, there's something in you that, like, can't, you know, like, it's like, I got to make this because don't, don't nobody else do this. Yeah. But those Gorilla albums, bro, like. The, like the group? Like that. Nah, it's just like. The group to Gorillas? Yeah, like, bro, like, just, just certain, like, moments, like, bro, like. I'll never be 12 in the car with my mom and dust your shoulders off is on like on the radio and that bitch only come on like once every six hours and I'm only in the car like twice a day and you gotta like find that moment when Mm. that bitch hit like and just like MTV like it's just like there's a lot of things where it's just like brother nostalgia and just like I don't like I don't know how to explain it. It's just like that that shit hit it take you back to a time period in your right. life and like and I feel like songs do that like overall but Do you I don't think know. do you think the experience created the mm. the nostalgia more so than cuz cuz like like with people that that grow up now, right? You you can't have that. Hmm. You don't cert you can't really search for anything like you don't have to tune into a radio station and hope that you hear something Mm -hmm. you don't have to just like watch tv and like oh this shit come on at this time so you got to schedule your day around this time you don't you can't do that (laughs) no more that that will never exist that's you know so it's like those moments don't mean as much it's just like oh cool song i like this Mm. this could be the most memorable song to you whatever but then like Okay, there'll be another cool song, and you're gonna tie it to to that memory of that thing. But you didn't have to go through anything to get to this song. You know, you didn't have to like. Yeah. I remember that there was this like this this no doubt song. Um, when when I had first got a MP3 player, it was like a mini disc player, and like that was when like buying music was a whole new fucking concept because i was like downloading shit on like you know napster and limewire and all and all this shit and like imesh or, or whatever that other shit was um uh, but i had i got the i got the sony shit and you had to buy all the music so there was this uh this no doubt cover song uh i forgot who made the original song but the song's called it's my life and the and it was Can't Stop by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Both of those songs, I, I was like, I need these fucking songs. Like, how do how do I get this on? And, and that was the only way. It was like, you had to buy it. And I had to, and then like, buying the song as a kid, that, that was like, I was like, oh shit. Like, I got a song? Yeah. I could, I could take this with me? Yeah, nah. I could carry this damn song yeah, around? That's- I could be at school listening to this? <laughs> That was the coolest shit ever, cause you couldn't do that, you I, know. In combination with the first thing you said about 
just like scientifically the development of your brain during adolescence mm. when you combine the openness of the brain at the time of life that we had that mm. with the experience of longing wanting needing to hear a thing and having to create and curate an experience in order to have that thing in the first place right. you add them just together that will never happen again mm. in that way there has to yeah. be another way to make it happen. And that's <laughs> yeah. what I'm hunting. Oh, okay. Right. Some, somebody go figure it out. Musically, that's what I'm hunting. My, okay. my shit has to hit like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm and, not doing it right. And, nah, and, you're, you're, okay, now we're talking about something. So, we're talking about legacy. Okay, right. I like this. And this kind of now pivots to something. what we were talking about earlier for me. Um, could you repeat what you just said? And I'm going to replay that whole moment. So that I can catch myself back up. So, do you remember that? Just the last part. There has to be a way to recreate that musically, or I'm not doing it right. That's what I'm hunting. Okay, cool. Um, so, I, I feel like there, there's nothing stopping anyone from like you. You know, you you ever seen like the, there was this movie called like Pirate. Uh, like, well, it's it's not pirate radio. That would sound stupid. So it's, it's it has like two names. It one of the names is the boat that rocked, and the other name, like for the American version, is, is like pirate radio something something about it, it's a it's about a boat in 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 the water, and it's yeah, a radio yeah, station, yeah, yeah, yeah. pirate radio that time. There's nothing stopping people from still doing that. You could create that kind of experience and like or or do something where people got to find songs, where people got to like, you know, like me and you were talking about an experience where like songs are hidden in places. You, you know, we're going to tell the people about that. Damn, not not them. not 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 too not too much. I'm not saying All the right. method of doing it, right? All you, right? you know. Let's not do that. You know. But but I'm I'm just saying like so there, there's a thing called called like 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 geotagging, like the, like you you can you can geotag anything, right? Yeah. Facts. So apply that concept. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. But yeah. you could do that. The radio station shit. You could you can create experiences. You gotta give people the you you know it's nothing saying that people won't do this. You know. Huh. It's I see just, what you're saying. They got to be reintroduced to it. I think people are scared to do it because it doesn't directly, to touch back on what we were talking about before, it doesn't directly lead to the money. And that's all that people matters, right? People are fucking right lazy, now. too. Can we talk about that? They really fucking lazy. Like, people will like shit. Like, bro, I swear, I posted some shit on my SoundCloud and I posted the fucking thing, link in my bio. Right. Ten niggas clicked on it. I posted the actual SoundCloud link on the next post. A hundred niggas clicked on it. It's like instead of two clicks, nah, they, lazy. they only want to do one click. Thanks. Like ten times more then, likely to do it because it was one click instead of two clicks. But then what would you want to do? As I would on only the opposite click side. one time. But I, like It's so unfortunate. <laughs> it's so unfortunate. It's so unfortunate. As an artist, it's like, damn, I hate you for this. And then it's like, all right, I, uh, yeah. I would do the same thing. It's so unfortunate. But it's like, so when you're trying to like create these experiences and you have to do things and you have to participate, like right. you got to schedule your day around these things. It's like, I can't even get these niggas to click twice. Right. These niggas don't even want, they just want to click once. That's why I wouldn't wish this on nobody. Like people like, I want to make music. I want to be an artist. You kind of don't. Niggas want to do what like, works. It's a, it's a tax. That part. Niggas want right. to do what works. I can't. Right. It, it, it's lazy. It's lazy because it is what, it's it's lazy because what works is what it is. Right. It's lazy because what works is one click instead of two. But what it boils down to is niggas want to do what works. If secret basement parties were the things that work, everybody would be doing fucking secret, secret basement, basement parties. parties. And there was a time that 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 was the and thing I'm that worked. That shit back, but we're not talking about that today. <laughs> <laughs> what we talking about is time and legacy and the laziness of niggas. Real shit. You niggas need to stop being lazy. 
You can't just Click blame. Twice you can't just blame everybody Damn. though. You can't just blame everybody. Just just Especially factor, after just factor that the in. Same. And nah, click twice Hypocrite. for a nigga, bro. Just just factor that in and just implement that in in the Nah, but experience. seriously though, like okay, or like real shit. Seriously though, things that I care about, I will click a hundred times if I have to. Like, and that's for. Real. And so that's kind of where I'm at with it. It's like, obviously, if I don't really give a fuck about the shit, make it as easy as possible for me. But it's like. Those 10 people that went out of their way and just clicked twice, it shows me, all right, those 10 people really care. Right. And it's like, I'm trying to get it to where it's like, bro, like, the experiences are worth caring about. Y'all care about, like, the, just listening on shit on SoundCloud. Or you guys want to be in my comments so that way, like, you could get seen in my comments because everybody's in my comments during, like, it's just, like, shit Dog. that, like, it's just not worth caring about. Bro. Dog, when I say... It was Jack Fest was the funniest shit ever because multiple niggas, multiple niggas was telling me good job, good shit, good show, not knowing that I was producing the show. So I had the master list of everybody who actually watched it. I know who saw it and who did it. Niggas, <laughs> niggas was literally going out of their way to tell me they love something that I know for a fact they didn't fucking see. It was so crazy. And then you got to like, how, how did how did you handle that? Like, bro, like, we had, what do you? I, I let the niggas rock. <laughs> like, like, what do you? What do you no, I know, I know. I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying to do rock. anything. I'm, I'm just saying oh, like, wow. just like mentally, mentally, that, 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 that's mentally, just funny. It was funny. It was frustrating because I needed the money, but. Um, it made me more grateful to the people who actually like pulled up because Jack Fest was like eight clicks, nigga, if we keep it in a B, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I just really valued the people who, who did this shit, like you were saying, the Houston people, you know what I'm saying? It was hot. But goddamn, niggas, niggas go out their way to lie and be seen, like you were saying. Like, it's it's really interesting. They bro, do, they want the easy work. Bro. <laughs> right. Very true. tight. Like I don't see like bro, I could see who's listening, what cities are listening, how many people, especially on SoundCloud. Like I can see who played the most. Like shout out Jordan, because Jordan always at the top of my SoundCloud. Shout out I love Jordan. you, bro. That's amazing. SoundCloud is very specific. Yeah, no, like I I'm about to start u- utilizing SoundCloud again. Which sounds kind of kind of stupid and people probably gonna be mad Let's at me go. about that. Hey, I but, fuck with SoundCloud but, bro, like, still. Only, only be, because of that, it, you know, like it's it's kind of unfortunate, like from a, a privacy standpoint on the other side that you could track in that detail. Hmm. But like, as an artist, it's kind of it's kind of tight being able to to see stuff like that, and then like, I I, I don't know, like there there's some people that only listen to music on on SoundCloud. Still. And I've come across a lot of those people. It just never registered in my head, y- y- yeah. you know. Hmm. But then, like, I saw after I released something that I, that had already been out on SoundCloud, it was it was like people listening to it. Like, and it was like, how are you hearing this for the first time now? This has been out for a minute, so, but like, it's just SoundCloud. They only people, listen I think to shit on are SoundCloud. Back into the idea of discovering something, yeah, and that's what we all knew SoundCloud to be—the platform mm-hmm. of discovery. So, mm-hmm. fire, right? I just I appreciate how fluid it is, like the artist to fan base connection. Like I'm trying to talk to you. If you fucking play my music, I'm gonna message you. I want to know why you like it. What do you like about it? How can I make it better? Like I I hate that Spotify. I have monthly listeners, and I don't know who the exactly. fuck you guys. Who are yeah. you guys? DM me, it's, bro. It's, it's just cloud DM numbers. DM me. It's cloud numbers. It's, it's numbers that that you can show to other people. I yeah, don't care about that. DM me, guys. I do for real. With Bandcamp. Okay. Dig, Dig into that because there's um, there's a lot that Bandcamp they're, does. Yeah, they're, they're intuitive, intuitive with, with their creator, creator uh, not, not fan base, but like user base. Like they're very intuitive. They care about making things uh, more accessible and more profitable for the musician, and their interface is smooth. Customer service, like it's like they're great. Fuck with Bandcamp just like you fuck it with SoundCloud. Okay. Those two are our friends. Insert okay. sponsorship. I'm listening. I'm pretty sure I owe them some money, but yeah. Bandcamp? Bandcamp? How you gonna owe Bandcamp money? <sighs> they're shaking you down, nigga? Nah, they just waiting for me to sell some music. Like, 
That's not, not owing doing someone that. money. Look, bro, I sold a bunch of vinyls as merch, and like they're still trying to recoup off those digital streams, like the digital sales, and so like. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, so you owe, you owe them a portion of the of the sale. Yeah. I feel you. Of like of like. Uh, they were pressing the vinyl. Nah, I I did everything, but I just sold it through them because like it was like on some twenty like sixteen shit. I didn't know what I was like. Oh, they just. Oh, I don't know if this has changed at all, but uh, they just take a cut of the sale. That's it. They don't. They're not waiting to. They're not using like their streams to recoup anymore. The, no, yeah, that's not a thing. Oh that's yeah. Not a thing. Digital. Uh, uh, physical sales now is just like they take a. Oh, it's it's all the way separate. It's just they, they had to take a chop off that bitch and that's it. You ain't got to worry about all that no more. Uh damn. Okay, cool. Very you cool. You putting this damn monster up here, cool. nigga? Bro, I did not buy that. <laughs> I asked my man to bring me back something to drink from the store, and that's what he brought me back. And that's what you get because you should have went right. Left foot, right foot. You guys told me to do this podcast. Oh, oh. This isn't brilliant. a podcast. Brilliant. What is this? It's a conversation. You guys told me to have this conversation. This you isn't a conversation. You, He did. He very much did. He set you up. He set you up for that. that there's that no was setup. Not cool. Thank you for pointing that out. No, but see no how setup. I just helped you out? I got you. You see that thing I got that you. I was talking there's about? Okay. I got you, bro. So there's there's nothing I got a line and I say something, bro. I need somebody to... <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> Y'all don't know this at home, but like <laughs> me saying him getting out of line is the craziest <laughs> shit. This nigga has never been out of line a oh, day man. in his life. Hey, that nigga be tiptoeing to the line and he'd be like, like when niggas touch the boat, like <laughs> <laughs> I touched the line. <laughs> this is this is our blossom for a reason. Oh shit. Y'all funny. <laughs> Yeah, funny. So, 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 um, you make music, don't you? <laughs> oh, oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what the beat sound like? What, how what, the beat go? What, how the beat? <laughs> How boom, boom, clap. The beat. Boom, that boom, boom, beat. clap. Hey. Boom, boom, Is that clap. really how the beat go? Boom, 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 I don't, I don't think that's hey. how it hey. Boom, clap. Boom. Oh, you're right. I got hi hats. Boom, 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 clap, boom, 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 clap, boom, boom. I'm asking you what I'm asking you, how the beat go. How how does how do the beat go? I can answer that a million ways. Then answer one of those million ways. Okay, I'm gonna pick the most interesting one. Why? Um, Are you trying to be the interesting one? Because you should have asked something specific, and I'm gonna punish you for it. So how the beat go? You ask your beat. Um, how the beat go? My beat. <laughs> you see me gear. <laughs> my beat is that of my own. Oh god. Oh. Oh, oh God! I am a percussionist. Therefore, my emphasis and uh, my musical thesis, if you will, is often on complicated rhythms. Uh-huh. More than that, I enjoy the pageantry and methodry of it all. Mm-hmm. I'm typically finding new ways to invent the wheel. Nice. Nice. Does that answer your question? What no, is this? It what does it sound like? <laughs> Thank you. I'm pretty sure it doesn't sound like that. You picked the ball up. I'm pretty sure it doesn't sound like that. It's a ridiculous question. Hey, those are some cool open hats. That's that's not a ridiculous question. It's an important question that somebody's gonna ask you, like me. No one's ever gonna ask how the beat goes. <laughs> nah, but are you real- sure? I've been asked that a lot. <laughs> 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 you, know, you might be on the side. As a producer, I've been asked that a lot. Now, all right, like, but how that one though, beat like, go is definitely a question that I have been asked. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. What, what are you expecting to answer? Because I feel like you're gonna ask me this next, and so I'm like, what are you, what are you looking for for an answer over there? You didn't hear me ask that eight different ways. I I did, but now it's my turn to ask. <laughs> I hope you get a better answer. Than I <laughs> How do that beat go? Is is there even a beat? <laughs> so so if, if y'all don't got beats that sound like that, there's a problem. Actually, I, I really I don't. Beats that sound like that. I really don't. I I, I don't use kick drums anymore. You be you anymore. one of those. 
Oh, um, you do. You do got a. You do got a SP. You got a four. I, that, that I like just, a, you still be using kick drums? That sound like oh. a like a stop. Like a 404. Yes. No more kick drums. No, because you a little 808 freak. That's what's wrong with you. No now. more kick drums. I hit a kick on that motherfucker though. Okay. No, no more I, kick you drums. You gotta understand where I'm from and when I'm from. No, he's just talking about where and when I'm from. You know, you know what I'm saying? Producer sound selection battle. <laughs> nah. Look, would, you, would y'all hey, go to that if that was a attendable thing? And put them in the trash. It's like people just bad like oh no my hi hat is way better than your hi hat. I for sure got the best hi hats. For I sure. I want to speak that. Battle on the for stage. Sure. I want to speak that. I for sure like I have sat, a like problem. the sound yeah, no. of a hi hat. Like my, I'm not my, talking about my sound selection is trash. High the key. Sound of a hi hat. Body all of you guys. I want I want to speak that and part of me uh, I I always come to a point of duality in these situations because part of me wants to go. Hey, nigga, hit me with a couple. The rest of me wants to go, fuck you, nigga. I'm going to get so many better than you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't dispute that. I have a hi-hat problem. I have a hi-hat problem and um, a snare problem. Mm-hmm. I just never like the ones I, don't I have. I have snare problems, too. I've, I feel that. I feel that. I, I have not like the best snares. I haven't liked... I don't have the best snares. I haven't liked the, the like, I sounds. I use <laughs> You be using claps? I don't it's, have the best dangerous. snare. Claps are dangerous. Claps are so scary. Claps are dangerous. I be using new shit though. Claps is dangerous. I've, did, I, I like haven't used I, a clap since like high school. I feel like once I use the snare, it just it turns it aggressive and it's just like. Not all snares are aggressive. Most snares are aggressive. Unless it's a rim shot and it's like, no. is that a snare? Yeah, no, true. Rip, you, you're rip right. Out, you're right. If, you, if you fuck it with a snare, dog, rip out every, like EQ, rip out everything before 2000. Then dip um, the one thousand section. Then uh, raise raise your highs a little bit. Mm. You understand me? Take mm. on that uh, out of that bitch. So that's a that's just that's that's like a like a rim shot or a clap. I mean, that's but how, you could. I feel like it's no, like, not that thin. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, let okay. the snares. Okay. You know, let it live. Uh, like, <laughs> so when you say take out, bro, like what you mean? Like how many dB? Depends. Depends on what you're dealing with. All right, like give me a re- give me a reference point, bro. What you been like? What you be on? With the low end, I rip almost everything out. I'm gonna keep it a bean, only because I still use kicks and I don't like anything. I like to I like mm-hmm. everything to be able to weave. I feel like from this, you can really tell how different we make beats. Hmm. Why you also, say yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why you I was real <laughs> interested in the next one. Because I, because I, I can't, I can't answer half of those questions. Like the way that y'all talking about that, like I don't care about none of that. Yeah. I just figured this out like this year, bro. Keep that was me. one of the things that like, really fucked me up. When I, I care when about first it after Lincoln. the fact. I was like, he just doesn't give a fuck about anything. I care about everything. I Why care do I care? about he having care. fun. <laughs> <laughs> I have to enjoy making the song. Yeah. yeah then we can piece it together after the fact. We can piece it together after the fact. Yeah, bro. I, I really like, I, I implemented some of that in my music. And then I think I got too far into not giving a fuck. And I'm mm. kind of like in the sweet spot. Because like yeah. 2020, I just didn't give a fuck. Like, oh my God. Bro. Yeah, some it's, of those it's beats, not like, too I good to, to dive them, all the way And I'm like, out. who the fuck did I think I was going to send this to? Like, <laughs> and, I've, and, I've, and I've lived there. That that's where I've decided to put my entire career. <laughs> Instead of like, all right, maybe I could care a little bit more and like make a real song. That's I just, I'm in that space right now. I need that bit though. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this, like, this hey, like, can y'all see this? You know what I'm saying? That's if I, I get it here. If I get it here, I'm good. And you really do be hitting that bitch, though. That's exactly the one. And that's why I like your music so much, because you be hitting those pockets that remind me of being a kid in the South. That's all all it is. You know what I'm saying? If I can hit that, the the numbers won't matter after that. Hmm. But until I get there, Mm. whatever needs to be done to get there, I need to know how to do. Like, fuck, fuck whether or not I knew it from jump. I need to figure out how to get that shit there. And if my current level of knowledge won't get it there, I need to go learn something right now. Mm. I feel you. No, I, I feel I, you. I, I can't. I can't pause. I'm, I'm gonna lose the idea, or, or, or just you, stop caring. I commend you, bro. Because <laughs> like it, it'll like for me, making music is so like emotion based that like if something like changes my mood, I might not make music for like the whole day. Facts. Mm-hmm. Facts. Or it, you know, like it. It, it just. It, it, I'm just gonna make a different song. In, in the, I can't do that. <laughs> but that's what's crazy about your shit. Like, I be trying to tell niggas, bro, your shit don't make no 
fucking sense. But it this do. is literal jazz. But really but you understand what I'm saying? Like, this is literal jazz, but jazz didn't always exist. As an entity, jazz was was it was a cloud before we call the cloud the cloud like the mm, shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So like when you listen to this nigga shit, it's like yo, what even made you? Who, arrive who are you these, talking about? To the to these conclusions, bro. Like, I was you... I will totally tell on this nigga. He listens to different music than everybody else. That's what it is. Facts. He listens to like whatever you're listening to. That's not what he's listening to. Facts. Like, that's just how. Like he just has an eclectic music taste. It's just but don't everybody got an eclectic no? They music listen to taste? the same shit. I'm gonna go ahead and say us three in this room have an extremely eclectic music yeah. taste. But like most people. I don't think most people even really care about music, bro. I, I think, think I think not a lot of people care about music, but the people that are making the decisions in music come from the same time period and understandings and the same influences. That part. That, that, and, you know, like the, the taste makers of, of the yeah. moment, are, are, they're, they're all based in, in the same, we have the same goals, you, you know. Some people like like I feel like flat out we understand what would work, and then you choose hmm. if if you if you gonna do that. Yeah, that's actually crazy. That's crazy you said that. You know, because there's a bunch of producers that that are really on that got that 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 make shit that that's really mainstream. But then like there's a bunch of other shit that's like, all right, well I can't release this, but I'll be making this because yeah. I I did you know, but I'm not gonna release that. That's what, that's, that's what Metro said. He feels like yeah. He was saying. Um, he makes like the things that people hear are what works. Mm. And that's what they come to him for. Right. What he really fuck with, like, is some other. And they only like, go I, I keep coming to you for the same mm. shit. Yeah, and they're, they're coming <clears throat> to you for Metro. Right. And their idea of Metro is that last. I want some of those out. beats. Like now that you said that, like I want some. Like yeah, I really no. want some. No, like I want to rap on them. Yeah. Like, I need some. Like, DM Metro. me, bro. Yeah, Metro. DM me, bro. Metro. Like, like the different shit though, like <laughs> the other, the yeah, other, that the other, other folder, yeah, that other shit, bro. The other let's folder, go. the folder you was about to send, don't send that one. <laughs> yeah, don't, no, no, let's go. Every Unless time that people was the other folder, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then, then forget what I said. <laughs> Every time people send me beats, they always send me the. I think you would like this folder. Don't send me that folder. Nah, like I, I don't Please really want to work with folder. many producers like on this planet, but like Metro is definitely on that list. Like. If we talking about legacy, like, I just feel like our, like, I'm going to just say my generation, like, type shit, there's just, there was not anybody, like, because it was so fresh, bro, like, the sounds, like, even, like, fucking, like, SoundClick, SoundCloud, all of that shit popping up. Like, it was, click. God bro, damn. it was new. Like, I remember that. No, nah, like, I've been in the jungle. Like, I, I wasn't I, a, I wasn't around for SoundClick, but I know. No, I was about, about to say, SoundClick like, you kind of young for Sound. Nah, SoundClick. I wasn't around for that, I but I know. I didn't go to SoundClick. I, was, yeah. I had a SoundClick page. <clears throat> I don't even know. Why. Nah, I had songs I was, on that shit. By the time I started listening to music. I still have songs music, on SoundClick. No, nah, yeah. Like, by the time I started listening to music, it was SoundCloud. But, like, I've research you get me mm -hmm. and so like i know like and just like that era of like bro there was just new shit like it's just new like i feel like it's all like even the shit we're listening to still to this day they did it all like in that first like two three years and it's just like better mix now yeah mm -hmm. it's you get the, me? It's, that's yeah. that's the definition of an era that's the change of an era you get me because that's what 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 time period are we talking about that's like 2013, 2012. 13, yeah, nigga. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? This nigga future is on top of the world. 2013. I'm, I'm, you understand? I what remember I'm saying? when like, I remember when Racks on Racks came out. Maybe even being maybe, in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. What? Never thought it would turn into this, nigga. I. It's great that dog, it did, but I never thought that it would it would play out like dog, that. That young thug joint. I'm a stoner. I'm a stoner. I'm a Dog, I heard That's that shit. That's my least favorite Young Thug song. I heard that shit on SoundCloud. Like, that thing had like 300 plays on it. Like, <laughs> I, I kid you not. I'm like, yo, nigga, this shit is trash. Blew the fuck up. That's a, but that's a time period. Right. Because I graduated, yeah. It was a year after I graduated. That's 2013. You understand? Like the, the, the landscape of hip-hop specifically was so blown open. And the hmm. South was coming to a place where it was respected. And... The South is such a weird region for right. music. Hmm. 
So, the, so of course, this was a new era. Of course, this was going to turn to something we didn't understand yet. And we're going to keep running on. For ye- We got time on this shit. Shit's still going. And, Facts. and there's, there's a lot of people that, like, the, the thing that I really love about that, that time period, even, like, though there's people that, that got on making a certain type of music, they got a chance to, like, figure them, themselves out and, and, like, explore and turn it, and turn it into other stuff. Like, but there's some people that are that are like confused about like 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 for example like young thugs like metamorphosis into what he is now and like Mm. the type of music that he makes now but like if you understand like where like like where people come from the influences in the city what people were into what you you know yeah you see this happening yeah like me personally i'd have a real struggle seeing that young thug changed because you know what i'm saying like i know i i know what it's like to be a nigga in the south and so this now now it's just more okay for him to to make what he want to make he he is what he there were niggas like him right exactly that's a very it's a a common journey that Mm -hmm. we go through in that fucking region right Mm. beautiful (laughs) beautiful exactly Uh, I, can I ask a question? Mm-hmm. Do we like? Do we do that on the conversation? That, that said, mm-hmm. Okay. You can say podcast. Don't let him bully you out of the he word did, podcast. He did. He did. He did. That was I not a bullying tactic. I, I mean, I, I can't. I can't see yeah. myself. But in my mind. But y'all saw. In my mind, though. <sighs> All right, but. Do y'all be having like five year, ten year plans, or like y'all just winging this shit? Like we talking about legacy and shit, like time. <laughs> the, the the next era is a really good one, but I can't be there yet. Like I'm not. There's a couple more things need to be in place before I get there, and so this one just kind of showed up. Mm. It's, so it's it's like a it's all it's like a cocoon. No, like it's like bro, the in I'm between. In that. I'm you in understand that what right I'm now. saying? I'm yeah, in yeah. That right now, when you said it, I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bro. Cause I really want to do uh, like an album that I feel like uh, I'm in such a weird space, bro. Where it's like I can make a good song. That's not the thing, and like I can rap. That's not the thing. But I'm trying to do them both at the same time, and like that's the thing. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and I need my album to be every single song like that. Yeah. You know, like, I, or if not every single song, like. Cause I might do some like mid slow mid to slow tempo songs that are kind of just like smoke to this, chill to this, not too much to think about, or you know really replay value. It's just kind of like a good song. Yeah. But then there's like, and then there's also songs that I want to do where it's like I rap like this song I just rap and this song I just swag, but every other song so like four songs right yeah. I got to do sixteen other songs every other sixteen it has to be everything across the board. Yeah, you get me like, and I just it's it's fucking with me. What does it mean to I feel like that's uh, important. Like that's where I'm at right now. Like I feel like <laughs> that has a lot to do with how I'm saying things and the pockets I'm choosing, like the flows I'm choosing. Yeah, like I feel like that's all that really matters in terms of that. Like I could say whatever the fuck, but it's just how I'm saying it, which way I'm choosing to say it, like which tones of voice I use that I feel like give it swag and because and then because what you're saying could be cool like yeah like i feel like the streets the streets is a perfect example of that nigga's hard as fuck what he says is so fucking like bro he be saying some shit and i think that nigga said giving your bird damn feelings and that shit just really like like i'm like bro like you really said that like in 2002 on this beat he said i'm giving your bird dim feelings you feel me yeah touch your toes and touch the ceiling (laughs) <laughs> how he said it wasn't very swag but, but the, the yeah I, I know words, what you mean the actual I know what you mean. words is like oh like you like like i don't know how to explain like the lingo like you only pick that up in a certain like you gotta you gotta live there to like he exactly. like he the first street song i heard like it was like all right i feel like i'm in london hmm. like, you know, it, it was less about the music it was like i feel like i'm there hmm you know, it's like I, I feel like I'm I'm experiencing this. I feel like I said experiencing wrong. But you said no. it. Oh, oh, that's you what, did. 
books in there. Experiencing. All right. How do you experiencing? Experiencing. There we go. Experience. What were we? I have a lot of experience. So, what experience can you bring to the job? (laughs) Yeah, my previous work experience is uh, a. I hate it. Dope if you experience. if you if you commit it though, like then you know <laughs> that just be the, how you notice. say it. it turns into like a uh, tomato or tomato. You know, right. it's just like nope. that's just how you say it. <laughs> that's not one of them words. Is it's different. That, that's straight up the wrong way. What if it's a fucking word? If we get enough that's people the on this shit, the <laughs> then we will have enough wrong people on this shit. It means something else. It means something else. They can make it a word. Exactly. And until we get there, it means it something similar to experience. <laughs> it, it means something be, similar. And it better not mean the same thing. It better have a different definition. Something similar. That's it. I was talking about swag, bro. And now look what we're doing. You this right? has not been a good experience for me. <laughs> Stop making fun of me. Are you bullying, bro? <laughs> He's always bullying. Get his ass. Every, I'm buttercup, the first so I'm time I the first time I Get met this ass. nigga, he was bullying me. Every time, every interaction that I've had with this nigga has been a bullying I'm interaction. Nice, nice guy. No, you're not. Hey, you're not gonna paint. You hurt my feelings bully. so many times, right. man. He put on a hat. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking about my feelings. Mojo, Jojo. I don't have feelings. <laughs> Hey, y'all can see us, right? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> the camera Nigga died. Like, <laughs> Nigga, what? The like, camera all, died. Like, we just stopped the pocket like, hey, are dude, you- are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> the, cam- the camera died. But, um, no, you were asking a question before uh, we got into any oh, of that. I did ask some you fire asked about before the camera 10. turned up. You asked about five, ten-year right. plans. I, I, we was talking about time and legacy, and so I was like, yo, you niggas got a five or ten-year plan, and you just winging it. Mm. I don't want to go first. Listen. What the fuck are you scared to go first for? First I'm of all. Never scared no, to go not first. Not that I'm scared. No, no, Clear, no, no, clearly. Hold on, hold on, clearly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Clearly. Because he knows what he said. He knows what he said. You fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking know. I'm not scared to go I'm first. I'm not scared to go first. Um <laughs> No, listen. If I'm to hear, man, I can't say that I have one. I, there are things that I would like to do as soon as possible. Okay. And it'd be cool. I, I no, no. The answer, <laughs> Thank like, you. I was really like trying. I was really trying to like <laughs> find an interesting way to say no. maybe kind, but bitch, no. I fucking don't. You just swinging the shit. Um, I don't, and I, I actually kind of want to. I, I can touch back on that later. Okay. As to what, because that has a lot to do with the fucking the verse thing we were talking about. Mm-hmm. I, like, it, like, yeah, just like, well, like a five ten year. I don't know, nigga. How dare you be so presumptuous <laughs> as to set up goals for a life that you know so little about, so disgustingly little. You know absolutely nothing, and you have the nerve, gall, and audacity to plan the next ten years of your life. Why think not? About, think about the last five years of your life. No. How much of that could you actually have planned? Hey, I'm gonna fuck you up right now. Fuck me up right now. <laughs> Do it. So I feel like in this world, <laughs> bro, you got two. You got two choices. Bro. Uh. You you could do one of two things. Yes, sir. All right. You can either get whatever the fuck you want and whatever the fuck you plan, or be a victim of circumstance. Mm. And so. I don't want to be a victim of circumstance, so mm. therefore I make plans. That's Which true. obviously none of the plans ever go how I plan them, but they're good reference points, and it's yeah, nice yeah, to yeah. have. Oh, you know what? Shame on fucking me. Actually, shame on me because I did. Shame. I did with this concept the thing that I said people were doing about age. Wow, look at me. Hmm. I immediately attached it to the connotation of. Uh, having to stick to this thing and having this thing be executed and I attached everything negative to the idea of that and completely bypassed the fact that it's a simple fucking question. <laughs> do you have do you have a five or ten year plan? Yes or no? No. <laughs> and some niggas are yeses and some niggas are noes. <laughs> it's, it's more nuanced than I was giving it credit for. Like a nigga can fucking mm. a nigga can fucking have a plan. 
and not follow it. You know what I'm saying? Right, or or yeah. recognize that the plan isn't going to happen the way that they... Wow. Y'all just really let me do that. It's okay, bro. This is somehow... Ain't, ain't, that's ain't why I said I was going to Ain't nobody going to stop you from living your life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not supposed to be funny. I I don't I love know why that Do I look like, like a joke to you, bro? Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta answer that. <laughs> this is a conversation. I'm crying laughing right now. <laughs> He's not. I don't know why that. He's was not. So I have eyes. Fu- oh, oh. <laughs> My eyes wasn't working. Dog, I fucking cry. I don't know why that was so. Funny. Hey, do you guys see tears in his eye? The camera. Hey, he's died. really trying to the duck the joke dead. question. <laughs> I keep My telling you that. Nah, he's trying to duck it's the joke. charging. <laughs> Damn, oh, shit. I'm talking to a camera that don't work. Exactly. Oh, probably like have had multiple conversations with that uh, camera at this point. Well, shit. Yeah. But that's interesting. But though. the audio still recording. I wouldn't have taken you as a planner. And I'm gonna bring the thingy back. I on. I'm a planner, but like like I said, plans never really like so. The thing about plans, bro, like I said, they're not really plans. They're reference points, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, because for plans, how they work for me, at least in my past experience, is like you make the plan. You execute the plan, some bullshit goes wrong. You throw the plan out, and then you still get whatever you're trying to get due done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's kind of like, and it's just a cool like, you know, like it's, I don't know. It's just nice to be like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a wake up, and I'm gonna go brush my teeth, and you know, go do this, this, and this, and then you wake up, and like, your house is f- been fucked, earthquake, you know. Yeah. So. I feel that. Yeah, but in that sense, I'm definitely a bit of a planner, um, just because I have like benchmarks that I want to do. Like I know, I know I set out this year, I said I'm rapping. I'm what rapping. kind of marks? Bitch. What kind? Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> I didn't say that. I <laughs> knew you said bitch. I was just making sure. Like the bitch. test and what shit. What kind? Bitch. What kind of marks? I just, <laughs> You don't even know. I have like a speech impediment that makes it really hard. To like, I'm sorry. <laughs> it makes it so hard to like. I'm sorry. It's not like a regular speech impediment. It's a hey, fucking why habit. you keep bullying the homie? Like, yeah, bro. Like, what's, what's, the, what's, the, what's the deal, bro? It's revenge. No, I have a I have a deviated septum that makes like M's and N's we, really fucking hard. We need to know that M's and N's. Yeah. So like my M's will sound like D's sometimes. Can you say M and M? I got it. I got it. I got it. Eminem. <laughs> you like hear hey, it? Why don't you? Hey, there's why no don't you B. Have a horn or something, bro. I feel like I should have hit the horn. And bro, shit. press the stone. Press it. Come on, bro. Press the stone. Now there's peer pressure. I'm press not pressing stone. nothing. Digital stone. Somebody press the stone. Short. Short. No reverb. Make the noise. Mm-mm. Not when you. Okay, he was slacking. It was not my job. Um, as the curator of this fucking podcast. Who said yes, that I was a curator and who said hey, that this bro. was a podcast? Okay, so hey. Do you have five and six year plans? No. Oh, I have a list. Okay. I have a list of things that need to get done. Well, okay, really? I have no idea the time or sequence that they'll get it done in, but I have a list. And I have until I die to complete the list. I yeah. How long is that list? Yes. It's probably a couple hundred things. Oh fuck. Yeah, and some no. some stuff is is doable by me at this stage in my life. Some stuff was only doable at previous stages stages of my life that I cannot cannot do. I feel it. You know, and there's some stuff that remains that you know. It's, when did you make up this to me. list? You make the a list, list as you go. Yeah. Okay. You know, like if you want to do shit. Okay. It's like you 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 go sit you you could sit there and not want to do shit. That's Y'all ever did the five twenty five shit? What's that? What that? Oh fuck. You be reading. Yeah, I be reading. Yeah. I'm fucking nerd, bro. I'm a fucking nerd. Nerd. I ain't call you that. <sighs> All right, bro. So. Warren Buffett is where this comes from. Warren? Got it from Warren Buffett. Warren G? Yeah, Warren, Warren Buffett. B. Yeah, man. Mm. And he has this thing, I don't know, supposedly it comes from this conversation he had with an employee. That's just like some retold, retold shit. I don't talk to Warren Buffett. But um, <clears throat> he's been his 
pilot essentially for 10 plus years and he pulls up on his pilot and he's just like yo what the fuck like why are you still working for me bro like what do you want to do with your life like make me a list of like 25 things that you see in the foreseeable future and you know write them down like you know let me see what's on that list like you right. just want to be my pilot your whole life you know like so he comes back with a list and uh warren tells him all right put the top five things that you want to do on that list. And so this is where the 525 comes from. Um, and the rest, I, it's kind of like spoilers, but like you really get a good idea of what's important to you and like where to spend your time because there is so many things that we want to do and it's and things sound like, it sounds good, like, to be like, I want to learn 10 languages and just right. pop out right now, hit you with 10 different languages on the podcast, like, fire. But, like, the opportunity cost of me learning 10 different languages is means I can't do other things. Exactly. You get me? Exactly. And so... Opportunity cost. I like that phrase. That's the essential of the video or, yeah. like, the concept that I came across is, you know, things have opportunity costs and really finding out what you want to do and like making that list i'm gonna fucking spoil it for you guys i'm gonna spoil yeah, it for you guys i, I ain't gonna read that shit yeah i'm gonna spoil it for you guys okay so look you make the list right I've also heard it before. <clears throat> 25 right you make your top five and most people believe like all right so i'm gonna do like focus on these top five and if i have extra time i'm gonna do the other 20 mm -hmm. but no the other 20 become your avoid at all costs list mm -hmm. so those I do remember this yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? So those 20 things you're staying the fuck away from until you get one of the things on your five done. Once one of those things are done, okay. you can move one, a new one from the 20 up and That's you tight. kind of proceed that way. That's that tight. Fashion. Yeah. It just really helps getting shit done and like hyper focusing on what it is that's important to you the you most. you really want to do. You're yeah. not settling for one of the other things that you didn't name first. Yeah, you know? And so, because it could be really easy. It could just be like on some like, oh, here, I wanted to go to Hawaii and it falls into your lap. Like, it's, right. you know, versus like you really wanted a Grammy. And instead of working on that, now you're in Hawaii on some very easy shit, which is great. But like, you know, you could have been focused on what you're really trying to do and then going to Hawaii later. But It's really, it's that that's also a nuanced concept, too. Yeah, everything. Like, isn't everything... Yeah, I know it is. Yeah, there's nuance and everything. That shit all the time. What you said was fire, though. I didn't like, say nothing. No, nah, you said you said uh, Ivan. You you think oh. about Ivan when you're I, uh, yeah yeah. And so like, I feel like that's a hell of a handful of it. Is like twenty, thirty years from now, because I see the political decisions that are made in music. Like, he recognizes that people are using an 808 a lot. So therefore, he's going to stop using that 808. He's going to he's going to do the little brother thing where it's like, "Yeah, big bro, I see you wear Jordans, but I like Vans." So, I'm going to wear Vans and I'm Is not No, I'm just no. talking about like in general, like I like how I look at music and how I make most of my decisions and how I want to leave things, bro, yeah. is based on the fact that like there's politics to music, bro, like Mhm. Mm there's politics to everything. Like, Timbo didn't just come with the bounces. That shit came with a sound, a whole new taste mm -hmm. palette, color, mm -hmm. and era, that era added to music. You get me? And right. it's just like, you, like, you can see where shit's going, and you can make your own path by making those decisions that, like, just go in your own way, bro. Like, you've seen everybody use the spin 808s, bro. Use your own shit. Make up your own shit. Make your own shit. Like, figure out what people are doing and do other things differently. Do what right. things work for you and, like, make your own sound. And that's kind of what I want to do for music. Is I want to do that so well to where people feel comfortable doing that themselves. Like, mm. so many people, like, ah, bro, it's just, like, copy and paste to me. Like, I really yeah. can't rock with yeah. a lot of shit because, like, I heard it already, and that should be killing me. Like, like I heard that before. Like, I had that conversation with you. Yeah. Like, like, you know, and so it's just, like, I, I want to introduce new colors, new taste palette, like, to shit, and then do it to where it's, like, I could do that, too. I want to do that, too. Like, and, you, and not how I'm doing it, like, but 
seeing like what it is and like making those decisions based on like all right like right now i'm really anti-kick drum because you guys tired that shit out like you guys tired the kick drum out i'm gonna be 100 you guys think it needs to be a kick drum in every beat you feel me and so like i'm just anti that i'm just i'm not i don't want it i don't want to hear it and like right. that's just how i like you get me and that's how i'm making most of my decisions so when i'm cooking like a lot of the things that i'm using it's not just 808s bro like it's I'm mixing different bass sounds. Like, I had a beat that I made, like, two weeks ago. It's eight bass sounds in that beat. You get me? Like, it's... Because I have to find bounce some way. Yeah. Like, it can't right, just right. be kicks. Like, niggas been using kicks to make bounce forever. And, like, you, you could pitch them up. You could pitch them down. You could play with the velocity. But niggas also been doing that for forever. Yeah, so, it's the, like, what's next? Bro? There like, there was a time when, when that was that was like, oh, this is interesting. You, you know, know, but then the moment somebody finds something interesting, everybody does it. And it's yeah. very quick. You know, but then, but then, like, to what we were talking about, like, way earlier, um, like, people, people are going to do what works. So yeah. if people are paying for that, like, if labels are, are looking for people and requesting these songs. The way I look at it is it's all bread tomatoes and let's just say pork right mm. it's it's yeah it's, it's all it's all <laughs> flour cheese tomatoes and pork right mm. but you can make pizza you can make pasta you can make all types of dishes with those things it's just how you put it like a lot of people just making pizza like you don't have to make pizza bro like play the with those like like figure out what ingredients are being used, the shit that you like, in your and make your own meal. You feel me? Like, right. I, f I feel you on that, but I think the the problem that starts to come in, and the reason why people start to just follow the same lane, well, sometimes people are just not creative, mm -hmm. but like I feel like some people follow the same lane because, um, shit, I kind of lost where where I was going with that. Uh, talking about the labels. And how everybody just kind of wants to do things that are easy to do. Yeah. Um, so, like, if if you know that that this is 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 what's gonna gonna work, you're it, it it's just more likely that that you you choose these sounds for this because that's all that they're pick. Like, you know, it, it, it's not the producers that that are like deciding uh, mm -hmm. i would think mm -hmm. like it, it's it's like the like because because at this point in, in music everything is either paid for or like pre pre curated right so like labels and like you know spotify playlist makers and, and shit like that are deciding kind of what what the basis is for that and and where where i was was going with that um on on the pizza reference because that, that was what i was talking about um how do you like the problem is how do you make people realize that it's a pizza mm -hmm. even though like we know that you can make a pizza all these different ways you can get to it from these ingredients but how do you get people to realize that but this is a pizza too so mm -hmm. having in the same conversation as that pepperoni you recognize that because it's it's something familiar but this is the same thing you got to find the bounce in this but that doesn't mean that it's not that I see what you're saying. You know, but a lot of people just shut out this because it's like, oh, that 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 don't well, look like a pizza. I, I, on it, bro, you put pineapples on it. But then that that that's gonna turn some some people away. That that's like, all right, well, pizza shouldn't have pineapples. You know. You know, but then to certain people, that makes it not a pizza. Hmm. You know, hmm. to certain people, putting fruit on a pizza makes it not a pizza no more. No, I, like I, I, I feel that, and so it, it's. That's why I said I want to do it so well. I want to make a dish mm -hmm. where it's like, I'm gonna eat this. It's it's better than pizza. You get me? Because pizza's hits, bro. And then it's just just like it's a fat ass pizza. Feeds like four people. You make it really fast. Should they deliver it? It's like all over the place. Like I get it. Like I'm only gonna sit here for so long and let you disrespect pizza. Like bro, you, got, you like, see what I'm saying? To disrespect I wasn't pizza. dissing you see, pizza. Not you. <laughs> you see what I'm that saying though? Hits. Like bro, pizza pizza really hit. But it at does. the same time, bro, like make some fucking spaghetti, bro. 
What's wrong with calzone? You don't like calzone? I hate calzones. Oh my god, niggas used to order that shit in school. I used to like really not like them That's niggas. That's not real calzone. Yeah. Nigga. I'm so sorry that they fucked up calzones for you, dog. That's not calzone. It's like a big hot pocket. It is. That, I don't that, like hot but, pockets. But hot pockets are like small calzones, so you gotta switch your mind. And then, and then but but then but you then like like it, the uncertainty of not knowing what's in inside. I don't like that. See, dog, but if you make it this shit. And then there's cheese. I don't like cheese. You know what? And there's going to be a lot of cheese in there because people feel like cheese is a filler. So pizza's not for you. I like pizza, though. I take, I've always. You be having cheese. I've always take the cheese off. I like the sauce and the bread. That's not pizza. Yes, it is to me. Ooh, shit. Just like you were saying. Ooh, shit. Ooh, shit. That's crazy. That's crazy how easy that was. How easy it was to snap back to that. Exactly though, like and uh, uh, bro, I feel I feel like that's why it has to be a new dish. You mm. get me? Because we because hip hop has this thing where it's it's like this is hip hop. Yeah, this yeah. is pizza. This and so it has to be a new dish. It has to be well prepped, and maybe there's room for new ingredients. Maybe there's room for like taking some ingredients out, but like at the end of the day, it still has to hit more than pizza. But then, how do you get the the pizza that are like strictly pizza heads to like, hey, try this? When they like, nah, that don't look like pizza, so I'm not gonna get that. I'm not even gonna open my my mind up to. Why would you open your mind up to eating pizza? I mean, uh, after I, I feel like everybody on this planet comes to a certain point where it's just like, okay, I've been eating the same shit. I want to go eat something new. Yeah, but when you go eat something new, it has to hit. If you right, don't hit, right. you just feel terrible about it. You're just like, why yeah, did I like, do why this? Did I, I wasted even my try. money. I, I tried to be got different. Something I liked. You feel right. me? Like, and so I think that's where it comes back down to. Is it got to hit like more than pizza? Like when you when they finally make that decision and they open up their space to be like, I want something that's not pizza. Mm-hmm. I have to have a fire meal ready for them to be like, here you go. This is it. This is what this is what you really been. So you about. you you one of them where like you ever been in them restaurants where like the the chef like specifically say like you can't change it like don't. Mm, I like, used no. Yeah, I I'm a real specific nigga. They hate me at Starbucks. Yeah, like I I, I hate restaurants like that, but I get it. You, you know, it's <laughs> like I you created this. You think that this is the best way to experience it. Cool. So people should experience it. Like right. That way. I respect that. Respect. And I've tried some shit based on that, but it's like, dang, what if I just don't eat this? Yeah. What if I just don't like this? You can't make me like this. Yeah, you always got to be okay with not being liked, though, with your shit not being fucked with. It's not pizza. Right. As long as you did, as long as you genuinely, all right, that was your last pizza. <laughs> <laughs> you no, ran but, out. You like, out of pizza shit. On, bro. Like, come on. You out of pizza shit. That's over for you. All right, bro. Can I say fast food? Let me say. Let me say like fast. Yeah, food nigga, say fast food because here's the thing. But let's see if I can wrap this around to um, how I feel about to actually time. answer. Okay, I was about no, to say. Not even. Still <laughs> where we're at. Not going back to where we were. Um, because the thing about pizza is, I'm gonna, we're gonna try some stuff. Follow me, and I will abandon it if it does not work. Mm-hmm. Three years ago, I had the pleasure of going over to. We did a little trip. We went to Berlin. Oh, no, actually, that's two different trips. So just, this trip, we just went to Berlin. Uh, we were invited for some dance shit. And, um, and, you know, in Europe, all the countries are, like, right the fuck next to each other. Right. So mm-hmm. a lot of, you know, cultures cultures blend pretty easily, mm-hmm. especially when we're dealing with food. Right. So um, we wanted pizza one night. We went to a pizza spot. And... We walk up. First off, looking around, this is not like an American pizza spot. Like this mm. is not the same shit. You would look at it's like Harry Potter, nigga. You look at the building and you wouldn't even fucking know. You would have no <laughs> idea this wasn't a house. You go inside. The there's a bunch of boxes stacked up. All the boxes are one size. There is no small, there's medium, a, large. You know what I'm there's no variation. They're all like the personal pan joints. Mm. That was it. Um, we walk up to the nigga, you know, he making pizzas. Notice he making pizzas and not asking nobody what the fuck they want. I I realized soon that that's because there wasn't that much variation. You ask the nigga, you know what I'm saying? You ask the nigga what 
uh, he asks you what you want. You say, I say, I want pepperoni. He goes, salami. Like he looks at me in the eyes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like dead ass. Like he looks me in the eyes and goes, salami. And um, I was like, yeah, all right, shit. Because I'm, I'm an uncultured fuck. So I'm like, all right, shit. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll take salami if that's what's on the shit. My nigga, my nigga step up. He go, um, I'll have pepperoni. They go, salami. <laughs> he said salami. And then my other nigga step up. And he said, he goes, salami. <laughs> it, was actually, it was actually like so fucking funny. But we were just so, we were just like, that was some new shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like we weren't adjusted to it fast enough at all. Um, that experience goes by. It was hot. It was cool. You know what I'm saying? That was whatever. Um, but it just wasn't the pizza I was accustomed to. Right. right. Going back to, we went back to Europe on another trip. Uh, this time we were in Dusseldorf. We wanted pizza. We went to a pizza spot. This is a different city, different place, different guy. This is a whole different universe. Okay. And they still did not have pepperoni pizza. The pizza was salami. The sizes were personal. There were other, they did other shit with the pizza too. But we didn't have an opportunity to even see an American style pizza until we were in Paris and there was a pizza hut. But even yeah. at that pizza hut, there was salami. There was salami. Mm-hmm. You could get pepperoni, but that wasn't what niggas was getting. So, All that to say that pizza isn't just this one dimensional thing that we see it as over here. It's very, it's you can argue that Domino's and Pizza Hut are essentially the same restaurant. I'd call you a dumbass because I am versed enough in pizza to know that that's not the same at all. One is predominantly pan style until about 2014 Ooh. when they changed their crust style. To, I don't know because you my care pizza, about it. Got me upset about uh-huh. it. But even with that, the, <laughs> there's a difference between a marinara sauce and a tomato sauce. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. There are so many different ways to do. That's why pizza is a bad example. There are so many different ways to do pizza. And I do consider hip hop pizza. No, but that that's way. why pizza is a great example. But but listen, but listen, that's and that's I why get, I, I just, get it for hip hop. Yeah, um, on, that, on it's a good example. Like, it's a good yeah. example for hip hop, but it's a bad example for something that needs to change because pizza already has so many options. When he's the there's a different like making a different no not pizza. change pizza, bro, but new meal. But make it. But that's what I'm saying. You could you could have an entire and which is the point of me bringing up uh, the Germany trip. You could have an entirely different experience and it still be pizza. You don't have to make spaghetti now because pizza is old. Maybe there's a different way to do pizza that you don't know about. Which is my fire. You okay, know what I'm saying? fire. Which is my mm-hmm. standpoint on hip hop. Um, because I I make hip hop, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. I just I fuck with hip hop at the end of the day, and I'm a, I'm gonna make that shit talk. Yeah, y'all, y'all some hip hop niggas. But of course, my influence. Well, you you a hip hop nigga. Yeah, you know I'm saying my influences come from other you places. You look hip hop. I'm, I'm, I'm a punk. Like I, you know what I'm saying? I love fucking Kate Bush. Like nigga, it, my my influences make it so that even though I consider this to be hip hop, and I love making hip hop, and I'll make hip hop until I fucking die. That doesn't mean it's going to sound like right. I mean, right. It's going to sound like. Jay Z, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's just so many different ways to do that shit. Right. Fire. Nah, I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah. I made it through. Nah, I see what you're saying, bro. <laughs> Fire gems. Fire gems. I feel like I've made a lot of different kinds of pizzas, and so I'm ready Facts. to make new. And things. sometimes it just is time new to pizza. make some yeah, other shit. Bro, new like, Monica. Like, cause, cause I did that for a lot, a while, and so. Here's how I look at it, bro. Like, and we're talking about legacy, right? Yeah. And so, I feel like me making a new variation of pizza is like level three creativity. Mm-hmm. And so, you dance, so I'll explain it to you with dance because that's one of like the metaphors I was taught this explanation through. Mm-hmm. Fucking, if someone level one of creativity is being able to see someone dance and be like, oh, they're dancing. All right, that's level one. Level two is you do the dance that they're doing, right? So you see them doing the electric slide, you pick up on the electric slide, you do the electric slide too. That's level two of creativity. Level three is you making your own dance. So instead of doing the electric slide, it's called the cha-cha slide, right? And so different steps, your own dance, you made it up, that's level three. But it's still a variation or it's you doing what you saw, Mm -hmm. right? And so... I feel like that about me making new pizzas. It's just like I seen someone make pizza. I'm going to make pizza, but like my own way of making pizza. You feel me? And level four is if I fucking variate the 
the new way of dancing. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, I got fucking glow-in-the-dark suit kits and the there's water on the floor. Like, that fucking Step Up movie when it wasn't just dancing. Like, bro, it was really about the fucking puddle on the floor and, like, the nigga dragging his foot in the water and, like, getting the slow-mo shots. It wasn't about the dancing no more. It was, like, they took it to another level, bro. I don't know how to explain it. And so that's kind of how I look at it with the pizza shit is, like, it's easy to make pizzas. It's easy to, like, go from the electric slide to the cha-cha slide. But to go from that to, like, a new way of dancing, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. Like, it's, I feel like it's it's a hard thing to do. It's, like, it's easy to be, like, mm, like, shoes. Like, even shoes. Like, I feel like everybody's, like, I want to make some new shoes, design some new shoes. And it's, like, I say everybody because I'd be like looking at designers and shit. Right. <laughs> so it you, feels you, like that. You, you in a bubble. Yeah, like, you feel me? Like, you feel we, me in a, like, we in a bubble so, where it but feels like, like it, yeah. But like, I don't see anybody doing anything with shoes that I haven't seen done. Like, aside mm-hmm. from, the, like, from that primary function of what shoes were supposed to be, no one's gone too far away from that. And it's like, I get it, like, but that fourth level of creativity, that's, that's what that's for, bro. It's like, repurposing what the fucking shoe is even for anymore like the shoe's not even for a shoe it's like right does, like, I, I feel like at that fourth level it kind of switches to like you created something but now that thing influences other people to to be creative and restart that cycle from the first step you know like you could that, make you could make something that at level three that could be really successful five exactly but like you know that doesn't mean that it's gonna permeate culture or i don't know if permeate is the right word but like if it's gonna you know reach culture and be like a lasting impactful moment you know there's some artists that that do that i'm, I'm leaving the dance reference because i'm not familiar with <laughs> with that but like when when some artists create something th- there's a difference from from like a, a tight song and like a tight song from like right now that's tight for like now and a, a tight song that that like is like four or five years old, and it's still as cool as it was. But you, you, you know, like that that's something that 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 lasted. And then you also got stuff like sometimes those same songs are are still the ones that still didn't affect culture though. You could have something that that that's impactful that didn't cause a pivot. And maybe that's another level of creativity beyond that. But there's some things that happen that are like, okay, now no one is doing this anymore. Now everyone is doing this. Hmm. And there's a lot of points in, in history where it's just like, okay, this has been introduced. Now this is the thing. And now this is introduced. And now this is the thing. Which, and so like level four to me is like the creation of a new subgenre. You get me? Like, uh, for example, like whoever started doing the plug and B shit, or like whoever started doing the hyper pop shit, right? Like recently, those are that's like what the you're most trying to do with alt side. Mm, essentially, essentially, mm. essentially, yes, because it's like it's one thing. Like okay, for example, like my favorite producer when I started making beats was Knife Wonder, and so all I wanted to do was be able to chop up a sample like Knife Wonder. You feel me? That's one thing. And I it took me a long time to get there. It took me like maybe even a year. And even when I finally got there, it wasn't like I could do it as fast or as good as he yeah. could. Like you get me? It, it's just, but I got there. And that's like level three to me. I feel like level four for me as a producer was when I just started doing my own shit. And I just was like, like playing with it, really figuring shit out. And like that took, three four years for me to really get on top of that you know what i'm saying and it's like it's easy to copy and paste it's easy to like this is what a beat is based on someone else's model but to make your own standards of what a beat is Mm -hmm. and like create that subgenre, bro you have to work to do right this is this is kind of like off topic but like when you when you brought up like sample flipping and stuff like that and like ninth wonder um so like my exposure to that like i like and and maybe like this is just like my dislike for hip-hop uh like 
Cause you, you, you know me, like I, I don't listen to none of that. You, you, like, uh, even even with with doom and and all this stuff like I, I was on stone's throw and i hadn't heard a jay dilla song until i got to stone's throw hmm. just because like i i learned some of the same processes but i learned it from trying to make other types of songs like hmm. make songs from other genres like because i didn't have the tools to play the instruments you know, but then learning that, oh, shit, people were sampling other, like, I understand sampling, but people were doing this and chopping up something, you know, like, that's interesting. And I've learned from that and I appreciate them and, like, I use the tools. But that that type of music, like, Jay Dilla, Slum Village, MF Doom, all, all this, even though they're not the same, uh, like, Quasimodo, uh fucking mad lib it, it's just not my type of shit you know like it, it's like even even for stone's throw i cared about stone's throw because james pants was on stone's throw james pants and gary wilson i thought they were they were my favorite artists so i was like oh shit that's cool you know but then come to find out that what they're known for is all all this hip-hop stuff you know uh but yeah side side tangent um, aside from all that, y'all, y'all niggas make music. I'm not gonna call y'all niggas. Y'all niggers make music. Um, so y'all, you, you, you know, you know, you, you got any like favorite lyrics and you, you know, song ting that you want to do from, from that? I feel like he was cooking, dying to say something the whole time. Huh? I feel like yeah. he was dying to say oh, something no, the whole time. I, we, he, yeah, he was over that, there, big ponder. Everything we were saying is actually part of like a huge conversation that we do not have time for. Okay. We mm-hmm. do not have time for that. Because it's like, from the... We, if, I, if I start now... It's over. All right. If yeah, I start yeah, now, no, I feel you. Do not have time All right. <laughs> All right, bet. <laughs> right, but what you asking? You're asking what now? Like songs... The song by you, uh, by me. yeah, like lyrics, song lyrics. fire lyrics, um, yes. and do the song, like in I have like this. do the like break down the lyrics. Do, okay. do, Ooh, do the song. I got um, I got a few. I got a few. Yeah. Up to the top. Motherfucking. Yeah, I was supposed to have this prepared before. Yeah, you you definitely did not send me any type of Let's regimen uh, or like. <laughs> I I sent you a message. <laughs> I said, hey. That's all you said in the message. I said, it's a thing. You got to do a thing. Make sure you do a song with a thing all about right, the topic. Lyrics. I said that. But yeah, I got, I know, I know mine. All right. Um, It was one. This It's a, it's a, it's actually just a piece of a verse or not a piece of a verse. It was an entire verse of a song that I made like four years ago. Um, but it's always like remain true. Like it's I, I even checking it a couple of weeks ago. Like it's still very relevant to me, and um, I've always just wanted to like like go on like a fucking radio show and like say it. You know what I'm saying? Um, you've but been it's, waiting. But it's like, you've been waiting to break oh, yeah. down these lyrics. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm prepared. That's what you're but saying. It's like, but it's like super relevant to like the fucking topic. But it goes. Uh, I will not define a year as mine. That would just define me to a time. Bitch, I'm timeless and ageless. Divine. I could show all y'all how to be timeless and ageless. Okay, take my hands, young nigga. The guide. You look exhausted. Oh, y'all really lost it. Put him in a coffin and toss him aside. Plaguey is saved there and it cost him his life. Plaguey is saved there and it cost him our lives. Now we need a new Skywalker. I died. God sent me to Addy, the angel's looking like, why? And he just hit him back like he tried. And I fucking love that verse. Um, because it was like, I was I was standing in a factory. I was working factories at the time. And I was on Twitter when I shouldn't have been. And <laughs> one of my rapper friends was like, yo, this is my year. And then I was like, it's so... At the time, at the time, I was more revolted by the idea than I could understand. Now I understand why I was, um, but the idea of defining a year as yours, um, 
there's so many things that come with it. And I don't know if everybody is aware of that when they do that. Um, and so I was like really, and I think that stems from the same, pl- like when you asked about the five and 10 year stuff, how I just shot to what the fuck is niggas talking about <laughs> five or 10. And that like, that shit like stems from the same place. Like how, um, or just the, the fascination with being aware of the future and too fixated on it is where my brain just like automatically goes with it. Now I know a little better. Um, but, uh, the point of being like timeless has always been what I've wanted out of my shit. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to be Thomas. I wanted to be ageless. I wanted to be like at any given point, this is relevant because it exists. It's not like I hate, I hate songs. This is just me. I hate songs that talk about anything that date the songs. I hate a song that I get mentions that. Instagram. Mm-hmm. I hate a song. You know what I'm saying? I hate a song. That it's it's so weird it when people do it. Because it's like now this there's a time where this won't be relevant because the listener mm. will never have touched an Instagram anything. And they can't relate to this any you know what I'm saying? Like I've always wanted I want everything to do everything I've done to to be like that powerful that it can exist in any age and at any time. Okay. Fire. Yeah, that's hard. There's plenty more about that verse, but I, <laughs> no, that but, that was, that are was you tight. Break down those bars, though. I can. Um, so I would not define it here as mine. That was confined to a time. Between timeless and ageless, divine. I can show all y'all how to be timeless and ageless. Okay, take my hand, y'all nigga, the guy. That's that's pretty self-explanatory. Mm. That's basically what I was just talking about. Um, you look exhausted. Ooh, y'all really lost it. Put him in a coffin and toss him aside. So that is speaking to like the the difficulties of being fixated on something going exactly how you deem it should while you're not in charge of that. Um, I'm a Jesus nigga. Uh, White Jesus? Huh? Blonde hair, blue eyes? Now you know I don't. I, you know I'm not over there. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh, um, not over there. I don't know who that is. What, is, what does it mean? It. What does it mean to be a Jesus it nigga? Pictures. I just, I just fuck with Jesus. I'm like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jesus, I, I, I'm, Jesus, I'm Jesus cool. Um, I, I, I ain't got, I, I ain't got nothing my, against Jesus. I think, like, I think, like most um, Christians around my age, we don't really follow, uh, follow it like conventionally, completely. Um, we don't really worship the same way that our parents did you mm-hmm. know or generations before but i very much still um and the and the hmm. I, I feel like the christian perspective has kind of changed we're going way off though yeah. he's about to drop some fire not really not really actually because um that's that that's important but later. yeah I'm, I'm i'm not gonna go into that that's not that yeah no that's but that, that that's right still now. like 100 percent on i'll address um, that later but yeah but uh, i said that to say that you're um whether or not you are whether or not you are religious or you have a belief of anything greater than ourselves we can all agree that something exists outside of ourselves Mm -hmm. that makes things not necessarily go exactly the way we want them Mm -hmm. niggas everybody says something about luck at some point you understand what i'm saying every every circumstance coincidence all those are things that aren't you that Mm -hmm. are in charge of things and um the idea of needing to have agency over those things can make someone tired, tired, death. Put him in a coffin, toss him aside. Mm. Uh, Plaguey has saved her and it cost him his life. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Just fucking am. Uh, Darth Plagueis is the wise. Planet Plagueis, but I didn't know that back then. Yeah, you got mad at me for liking Star Trek. You said Star Trek was better than Star Trek. It is. It's okay to like Star Trek. It is. No, no, no. It is. But you can't say that. It is. No, no, no. I'm picking sides. Remember what I said to him about pizza? Picking sides. You're done. Don't care. Don't care. Doesn't do that. It's a crystal. Remember how I told you he just doesn't give a fuck? 
Like it's like he doesn't care what people like. I Actually, like what if I people like. like it, he likes what the other. Like, <laughs> like the opposite, yeah, man. like he's like yeah. He's, he's almost a contrarian. Like I want to <laughs> say that, but I know it's, this is just him. I I started watching Star Trek because everybody was watching. That's See, a he's contrarian. a contrarian. But then I liked it. <laughs> kind of but then I liked it. So I'm Disgusting. sticking with the, the the side that I chose. Darth Plagueis the Wise. Don't know who that is. I'm gonna tell you. I don't want to so, know. Darth Sidious, the Borg, who was like the like in the later Star Wars movies, and from three and on, he's like the ultimate evil nigga. If you if you have you I've seen any? Seen okay, fine, 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 fine. So like Darth Vader, I know you know the name Darth Vader. Okay, I know that nigga. His teacher um, was Darth Sidious, and that's like that's like a rule of two. Like there can only be two of the Sith, and the Sith are like the evil niggas who are the opposite of the Jedi. Um, and so Darth Sidious' teacher. His name was Darth Plagueis, uh, the Wise, and he was searching for the key to immortality. Like that's what he really fucking wanted, and the reason he wanted it was because his wife was dying. He was trying to find a way to save his wife, and um, so I say Plagueis saved her, and it cost him his life because essentially he turned to the dark side. Gave, and once you turn to the dark side, you kind of give your entire will to the will of the dark side. So the things that you care about start falling off anyway, which marks the end of a life in the way that I'm talking about it. What is happening? Oh, is that the noise it makes when it turns off? Shit, jigging like. Um, uh, so play just said during it cost him uh, his life because that's it cost him everything to do that. Then Plagueis saved her, and it cost him our lives because in Star Wars, uh, Plagueis turning to the dark side is what gave us Darth Sidious. Darth Sidious is the one who like orchestrated the Death Star blowing planet. Like niggas was fucking. They dedicated the next like forty years to get this nigga the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, um, so Plagueis saved, and it cost him our lives. And um, I was putting myself like in the perspective of somebody who's in the Star Wars universe. Uh, now we need a new Skywalker. I died. Um, that is pointing to being the main character in your own story, and the like questioning what happens if you, as the main character, die. You know what I'm saying? Um, now we need a new Skywalker. I died. And then God sent me the Addy. I fucking love this line. God, God sent me the Addy. The angel's looking like, why? And he just hit him back like he tried. So, like, that actually has, like, two meanings. And I've never been, I've never, like, decided which one is actually happening. Um, meaning one is God sent, like, I died. So I'm going to heaven. That's essentially God sending me the address to his house. Like, nigga, pull up. Um, so he does that. And the angel's are looking at God like this nigga you know what I'm saying like why does he get to come up here and um, God's answer is always where it, where it splits I I say and he just hit him back like he tried I don't know if God is talking to the angels and saying he gets to come here because he tried while he was down there he tried to be a fucking good person so he gets in or is God hitting me like hey nigga I tried to get you in but don't nobody you know what I'm saying so he just hit him back like he tried. I don't know. I, I guess I'll figure it out one day. But that's that. Don't confine yourself to time. But also, it's okay. It's okay to want things. As long as you don't overly dedicate yourself past the point of realizing, like you were saying, that shit can change. Be ready for change. Be okay with change. Verse. Gas stack. That was a five verse. It's over. Um, you know the the cortex beat. Damn, bro. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pick off where you left off. Change my life. That's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, gems. Like so many other people. I had a song, but I'm gonna change the song now. New song. Because you're in heaven, so I'm gonna talk about. I don't want to go to heaven. I so was going that's the song I'm gonna talk about, and it actually has a whole verse about time. Yeah. So that's fire. Mm. I didn't even choose that. Look at the universe, God. Yeah. Why Jesus, bro? Your why Jesus is <laughs> at work. Really, bro. Really <laughs> <laughs> We're really just why Jesus. All right. But fucking, all right. So I don't want to go to heaven. None of my friends are there. 
I don't want to go to heaven. I'm on a mission here. And that's kind of the hook. It just repeats. But um, I'm going to break that down before I go into the verse. Um, I don't want to go to heaven. I mean that in, like, a very literal way. Like, um, obviously, like, I don't want to die and go to heaven. But um, also, at the same time, I'm talking about heaven like a, a mind state. Like, a, right. like, I could never see myself, like, in a comfortable space where, like, life is good for me. And then on I open my eyes and everything around me is just burning. You get me? And, like, my, my friends aren't in a good space. Like, I'm the only one mentally in heaven. I don't want to go to that spot. And, and you feel yeah, me? So, like, that's that. really what I'm talking about. And um, so when I say I'm on a mission here and none of my friends are there, like, those are the things that I'm talking about. Like, yeah. And then I also have, um, you know, technically, like, you really get to, like, Bible definitions and stuff. Like, all my friends, family that have died, they're not in heaven. <laughs> you get me? So that's also, like, a literal, like, like, like but I don't want like to go who? to heaven because none of my friends are there, like. So, but like, but like, who would be the the people? Yeah, yeah. Like the Bible also says nobody knows whether or not. Right. We're not allowed to judge that. Right. It could very well be. Though, I'm talking about society. I feel. You. Yeah. You know, it, it, I, these hey, are these are things me? that that society put on on to I, these yeah, things. I know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 Like let's let's be real right now. You know. So I'm talking about society. I'm not. Right. I, I, this is. Just what's not, I don't want to say a generalization, but like it's an anecdote, I think I want to say, is the word I'm looking for. Okay, like it's like a representation of, yeah, yeah. that part. Mm-hmm. You get me? And so that's where that comes from, um, like a little double meaning. And then the verse goes, uh, What a time we live in it. Load up the F, we'll get it in. Perfect time to get it in. Never miss a chance to get it in. I was born in a storm. Who knew I'd be the light to appear? And who knew I'd grow, 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 grow to be a flower here? And the first line, um, what a time we living in, I feel like was just a reflection of like, I don't know, just like looking around and just being like, bro, like this place is hell. Like that's kind of how I felt like. Yeah. It's just like, and... I still felt like it was a perfect time to like go to work and like get it in and just right. like mm-hmm. I, I don't think I'm fucking the savior or nothing. I'm gonna bring heaven on earth, but like I'm gonna do my little part. You feel me? Like right. and that's kinda how I look at it. It's like um never miss a chance to get it in. And then what do I say after that? I'm just saying, I was born in a storm, so that's all just like kind of a reflection of just like that, like looking around me and just um like, I feel like where I'm, like, bro, like, literally the street that I grew up on, there was four liquor stores on those corners. Wow. One on each corner, bro. That's so That's wild. wild. Yeah. Like, the the amount of, like, stay your ass here and don't do shit in my city is, like, it's everywhere and you can't really see it until you go somewhere else. And then you're mm-hmm. just like, I got to drive five miles to get alcohol? Like, yeah. what the fuck? I've always had to just walk to the corner. And, like, I don't even really want to do all that to get that's drunk. Crazy. Right. But yeah. when you're in the, the that bubble, you think that that's normal. You know? Exactly. You know? And, right. And it makes it easy to stay there. Because <laughs> right. you don't got to go to work. <laughs> right. Crazy. And, you know? And so, like, I kind of was just reflecting on all that and just being like, damn, like, I really grew out of all that shit. Like, and still, like, like see shit for what it is and just being able to look around and be like, damn, like, I gotta, like, I gotta live my truth and show people and be that light for people and, like, be that reference point of, like, yo, like, you can be a rose that grew from concrete type shit, you feel me? Like, and so, that's kind of how I'm looking at it. But also, at the same time, the place I was born is called Bellflower. Mm -hmm. And so, it's also a reference to the city type shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. who knew? Like, so, that's kind of my verse right there. 
That you hit your knee when you finish. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Why, is that, why do we do that? Do I don't know. Do I that? have no idea. I did it because you did it, but I don't know why you did it. It's a good ender, though, right? Yeah. I felt like I was done. You know? That's hard. That's hard. It's so cool. Like, you are late. <laughs> 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 Fucking words. Like, I love how... Um, As I've come to, or I'm not, I, I have to, don't gotta stretch it like that. I found pretty uh, fast that what I love about music is when powerful messages can be delivered in like no words. I love the amount of words. You mm-hmm. point it this way. Mm-hmm. Why did you point this way? I, that's my big bro. Oh, yeah. 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 We 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 had like a similar conversation about some, some other yeah. stuff. Yeah. Continue, it, you know, but it's, it's true. Yeah, you know. And and I was gonna say something too about what you were saying because it's so fire. I think what's so fire about when you were like telling and giving me your bars, like bro, you decide what the fucking bars mean. Like, oh, I yeah. like I yeah. like to leave it open. Like when I'm writing <laughs> my shit, I'm like. Hmm, it can mean this or that cool like, no nah, like you're like nah this means this this is what like and i'm just like oh fuck like he committed like he could like i feel like a lot of people are scared to like no nah, i like even the lloyd fucking is fine two or five two like he i feel like that nigga was scared i think he's scared to because <laughs> he's terrified you, he knows <laughs> he knows exactly what the fuck he said you know it's just like he just don't want to take that that openness away from people that part you know, that's a, it's a scary thing. Yeah, but fuck it, I said what I said. No, that's fire, that's fire. But that was this wasn't about me. I was telling you <laughs> <laughs> that that was hot. Like I like you got your fucking point across like strong as what the fuck just happened. It's oh, a screen 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 screen. <laughs> no, I really, really, I really do try to do that a lot. I feel like because the, the way I look at it is based on a conversation we had and then like also based off the fact that like I grew up around people selling drugs and mm. like I just reference it to them selling drugs like bro niggas get the dope and you break it down and then you sell like you don't try to sell a whole bundle cause like you're not gonna make a much off that like you, you know like you mm. break it down you sell it and then you are gonna make more money that way Yeah. and so that's kinda how I look at it it's just like I don't gotta say all of this shit in one verse, bro. Like, yeah. I just take like, I used to write like that. I used to write like seven different songs in one verse, yeah. and then I kind of just moved to where it's like now I just want to say what I have to say, bro, and get it to the point, like, cause bro fucking does that, bro. Like, I'm trying to tell you, like, bro be writing a verse, and he said what he said in the first like two bars. Yeah, facts. The mm-hmm. rest of the song is a regurgitation of like, 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 like yeah. I told you what I said in the first two mm, bars. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, damn, bro, like, you really get to, like, the point in the picture and, like, everything, like, right there. Like, But there's know. a there's a lot of people, and, and like, I'll, I'll get I'll get caught up in, like, looking at what other people think of, of my music. And, and, like, I rarely do it, but, like, I, I'll check in sometimes. And, like, that's why it bothers me when people don't know the lyrics. Hmm. Cause they'll think I'm saying something else that does not make sense. Yeah. And then it's like, there's people that, that look at me as like, damn, this nigga can't rap. And like, I look, I hear that. And it's like, that's absurd. You have no say. right to tell me that. <laughs> like, it, that and, and that's just how I, I feel about that. But like, if you don't know the lyrics, a lot of times, some of the shit that I, that I say, like it could be like, okay, well, why'd you say that? Nah. And if you isolate just one part, it's like, well, that there's nothing cool about that. Yeah, <laughs> bro, your pen is stupid, and hey. niggas just stupid. Just hey, like hey. Stupid. one day, eventually. No, nah. I, I, I didn't. I didn't put out I told way you too this. much I music. I told you this in private, but I'm gonna say it like live for every top five pen in the world. Thank no you. questions. Hey. Top five pen. Like, read the lyrics. And make sure it's the one he put out, too, not the rap genius shit that he didn't <laughs> verify, bro. Damn. But then you get in the... Damn, I think, I'm about to, I think I'm about to second that. 
I think I'm about to second that. I don't know if I know too many pins. Notice how we like not looking at this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, if, I, I don't know, know if I know too many pins as I, strong as his. I can I say mind, but like I don't know. You know what I'm saying? No, like, I could say that, and I will debate about it too. Like, pull up with your top five and let me know. We can debate thing. about Thank it. No, yeah, you. no, shut up, because we Thank didn't you. say that for gratitude. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we feel. We talking about you. We not really talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit! That means uh, rap, it's your turn. Rap, rap is fun. Facts. Rap is fun. I, I've refound that this I, year. I know rap that is you. So fun. It ha- it has to be fun. It's got to. People be fun. people forget how fun it is. Like the the like the beauty of finding a pocket. Like when people find like like these different flows. Like that's the most interesting thing ever. You know, like that 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 to me is like the greatest display of like human creativity. Like being able to find like, and like somebody might think the lyrics are dumb. It's like what? It, like listen to the the flow. Yeah, there's a lot mm. going on. The flow so is, many is things to so listen to. complex. That part, that part, and I want to like just throw this in there, super off topic, but just because you said that, I really love sounds. Like it's just one sound, but there's so many different ways you can listen mm-hmm. to it. Like mm-hmm. they're called polyphonic pseudosense, but hey. use more of those guys and then send them to me. So <laughs> many gems. Hey. Yeah, but it's your fucking turn. Yeah, for what? What you mean for what? You you got? Oh, you're not doing whatever. I didn't know. Oh no, just you, just y'all. Oh shit! I feel like you're robbing the people. Nah, bro, I need one. Fade that. Come on, bro. You don't yeah, have nothing dog. about time or legacy. Come on, really quick. I do, but let's I, go. I, Come I on, fade I that, like, bro. Prepare it. I wish I got a verse that I like that I would do. It's just not related to that. I bet it is. I bet you could spit it and I'll figure I could, out I could make it, it related to it. That's All of my verses could be about right like there. six different things. That's the point. Um, but yeah, it's just not. It's, I, don't, I don't really feel like it's directly related or I would have to like really think about it and like how it's related. I'm feeling cheated. I don't know about you, bro. Okay. That's it. I want to tell you what I want my legacy to be. Okay, I'm listening. Oh. I want to be the fuck. What can I say? I am the greatest. Period. The greatest. And I want to die that way. And I want to be debilitatingly famous. Mm-hmm. And disgustingly rich so so the fame part is important it is mm. it is it's not just about the money it's not and that's for and actually it's, it has a reason that is related to the money so check this this is just my firm belief All right. and I'm right so it cannot be disputed if you are rich you can give people money and that is important mm-hmm. it's important to be able to give people money mm-hmm. if you are famous you can get people money you can get, niggas can get money without you ever giving up a dime, y'all. You can create jobs. You can you create, create things. Yeah, I, can, I, I, I get can that. Mention, like if my little sister, if my little sister, because she does photography, mm-hmm. my little sister take a picture of me, and I go at number five because that's her Instagram handle. Mm-hmm. I go, <laughs> I go at number five, and niggas go, oh shit, I need to go book a photo shoot with number five. Right, and now she got. Books on book on weekend weekend weekend. You can just get niggas full money. library. I want to be able to, you know what I'm saying. I want to be able to get nigga shit. We don't. We shouldn't have to give up everything we have in order to get the people around us to be straight. We shouldn't. Have right. To. And then and then anybody with any logic that cares about the people around them that 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 should be the only way. You know. What yeah. I'm yeah. You know, like so many people, like especially like rappers, and, and it's kind of laughable because this don't ha- this happen in every genre, right? But like people get money, or like one person get money, and then everybody bases their life around this person, and then just like get like that person just gives them things, and then they they like oh you change because you don't want like it's like nah, ain't nobody change. It's just I don't feel like giving y'all money no more, hmm. but like. You could have created situations for them to like, okay, well, you could 
manage this. You could take, like, be in charge of this part. You could, you, you know, you create these situations. Or like you said, if somebody's already doing something, then like you can highlight their skill and their business, and then expand it that way. And just get like, a nigga some right. Money. And get up, right. get. I can. I want to be able to get to where like niggas is. I can put niggas in position and not be tied to my name. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. I don't gotta be around for your shit to get hot. Right. Like, um, I feel that. No, nah, I'm LeBron a- and Rich Paul. You know what I'm saying? Like Rich Rich Paul is a sports manager. You know, what I'm saying? like he can. Niggas want to work with Rich Paul. It don't matter if LeBron is next to him or not. You know what I'm saying? Like I want shit like that. That's going and that's I was low key I was going immediately like be like no nah, fuck that like don't give them next shit <laughs> because bro people who just get shit they're terrible people like when you just get shit and just given to you like it's no way to appreciate it you treat it like it's shit it's, it's, it's a just, fucked up but, it's a fucked up friend move but but like at, hockey when you have friends like that though like when LeBron puts you in an opportunity space and you step up to the plate and you follow through with that opportunity bro. That's fire, but it's like you can't just like you can't just give people shit. Like right. you can't just give, you can like, give people opportunities. Yeah, like you, you know, I mean? and then sadly everybody not go live up to what you might. Man, and if you don't bring nothing like, back to the table, expect. lose my number. Lose my number, bro. We yeah. are not friends. We are not cool. Name, uh, football nigga Brandon Thomas. I want to say his last name. He's like he like does talk shit now. Like he talks and um. He's so he's so interesting to watch speak. Um, he did he has a show that he did uh, an episode with I forgot Cam Newton. He did an episode with Cam Bye. Newton and somebody else. They were just talking, and um, Brandon was saying that one of his biggest regrets of his sports career is that he looks around and like his family isn't good. Like the people that mm. he care about, not good. That's probably the most painful thing. And he, ever. he said when he got on, when he got his money, he said, "I'm not giving y'all, I'm uh, not giving y'all shit. Come to me with a business plan, and I will help you make this mm. happen so that you." And he said, okay. Nobody did it. He couldn't. He couldn't get nobody right, and so now his career is over. He's not making them M's and M's and M's and M's no more. So, so that, not that's like, not on him though. No, it's not. No. No. Okay. He, he took, you okay. Know, he took it on yeah, his but not. Nah, but you still feel yeah. that, bro. You can't not feel that. I feel to, it. To, when it's your to, family, like, to yeah, deal with that, that level of disappointment, it, it's nah, like, yeah, like you God that. damn, like come you on. Got, some of that you got to let on. I gave. Go. I yeah, gave that's why I'm hurt like, here. That's why I'm like lose my number. I'm hurt. I'm hurt, bro. I feel it, bro. Like I feel it, bro. Because it's like, bro. Like, I don't know how to explain. It's like, like. I ain't known V longer than I've known other people in my life. But we cl- closer than other people because, like, we on the same time. And that's so important, like, to understand, bro. And, like, if you really rock with someone, like, you, you just move a certain way. I don't know how to explain it. Like, yeah. if something's yeah. important to them, it's important to you, too. You get me? And it's like... It, it, I feel like y'all, it's not important to y'all. Like, you get me? Like, because it's important to me... F- for y'all to be successful. Yeah. You feel me? Like, it can't be more important to me than yeah, it, it is, is to you. Bro. Yeah. yeah. Like, and I've, that's where it's like, already I'm heartbroken. Like, yeah. You feel me? Like, before it even hit the fan, like, it's like, damn. I yeah. Like I want to get niggas good. I've, I've, I've been in that, I've been in that situation a lot of times where like, I've like, put people in rooms to like, and it's like, all right, well, you got to go talk to the people, you know, like, we here. You go, you, you know, this the environment to do this. You do this, but then like there was somebody that um, that I, I used to be closer to, like a group of people. I'm not gonna say who they are, uh, but um, um, one of the people stopped talking to one of one of the one of the friends that 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 I, that I had that you know were also making music, yeah. and I asked them why. And they said it was because they didn't live up to what, um, to the potential that they knew that they had. Mm. So like, and and they were explaining to me that it's like it, it's only so long. Like even if you believe in someone, it's only so long that that you're gonna sit here and it's like, all right, I know you could do this, 
but if you're never gonna do it then yeah. like how how long am i and, the, and then they, they just stopped talking to them it was like yeah. all right all communication cut because it's like well like I see that you're not go like yeah you're you're great you're creative as hell, but like I see that you're not going that that's not go change from this to this yeah and you're not go do the pieces to to do this so fuck it yeah and, and that I was mean, one of the realest things I've, I've I've ever heard I and I could and y'all gotta realize bro I'm hurt all right I'm in a hurt space in my life all right so I could just be hurt. But at the same mm -hmm. time, if you're not going to do that, I don't even want to finish my sentence, bro. But go jump off a cliff. That's how I feel. It's a, like, it's an insult. Like, you find, know, in find a very tall cliff. Now, if you give somebody an opportunity, then it's an insult. Like, th there's different situations where people not Even if no one has given you shit, bro. Like, in... in, in to even like touch on that because I've been wanting to say this the whole conversation because we all have moms that like were extremely supportive. Mm -hmm. So even if no one's giving you shit, you don't got no one on your side. Parents don't support you, bro. Shut that shit up and put in the work, bro. People are going to start to see like you got to show a consistency mm -hmm. of shutting up and putting in work. And bro, people will look at you different. It'll right. shift for you. But like th at the end of the day, it's like if you aren't going to do the work, bro, like no one's going to do it for you. Like, to be honest, I pulled over and I helped a nigga push his car to the gas station the other day. But that's because that nigga was already out pushing his car by himself. He looked like he was struggling. If he was just standing on the road with his thumb, I was going to drive right by him. Like, yeah. I know how I am. You get me? And so it starts with you getting out and pushing your own car to the gas station, bro. Like, Live and direct, what do you see when your eyes closed? DCCP, Market Does Conversation and Perspective, is V.